Okay. Here we go. So, who wants to give me the recap? Uh, Great. Want me, do you want to do it, or should I do it? There should be one person who hasn't gone yet. Uh, I, I think we, well, like, I'll just do it, I guess. That so, person uh, would be me, but, you know, I don't want to. It's all right, I'll, I'll do the recap. So, last time on Fields of Fire, after you got back from exploring the secret Ramshoa underground tunnel basement thing, we got together at the, uh, back at the Campbell's place, and we decided to go to, in order to get the cipher from the lieutenant, we would go to the Black Barks and maybe uh, gain their favor. Maybe they could, we thought that they could help us get it because the Ramshawar also killed their men, but things didn't go so well. And we got in a kind of a tight spot. She wanted us to give her the cipher. And also, like, kill Gorin. So we went back to the camp bells, we hatched the plan, we got some poisons, we made... We poisoned the, um, guy in a very, um, foul, perhaps humiliating way. Uh, if you know, you know. And so we brought him into Blackbark territory, and we kind of, you know, they kind of executed him, and... At the last minute, we built a fake cipher to give to her instead, and that's where we left off. Okay. And so, you're brought to stand before the captain once more. Several of the mercenaries will come in and will take away Gorin to a fate unknown. And as you are stood in front of the captain, she will look at you with discerning eyes as she turns around in her chair. Take a seat. We have much to discuss. Not on the right map. You're not? Nope. Is there a new thing with the... Whoa. Yeah, when you new move thing? now, it auto-measures. Oh, that's nice. It is. Are you, fun. Are you, uh, are you connected, Oliver? Because I don't see you connected. I guess I'll log out and try again. Then. Did you sign in as Taz? I don't think so. Did that pull you to the scene? I'm re-signing in right now. You know, I think I'm going to start making a rule that people have to leave the fucking foundry when they're done with their game, because I think it's taxing the system or something. I do notice that I'm loading in slower than I should be. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> I don't want to leave. All right, now I, I see. I want to see all my hidden maps. Now I can see you connected. This is my home now. <laughs> oh, do I get inspiration for doing the recap? Yes. By the way, yay! Thank you. No, you know Should what? No, that. you get nothing. Good day. Bro. Bro. Like sometimes. Are you loaded in, Melancholy? No, Bruce. Are you, uh, are you loading at all? Yep. Okay, good. We'll wait for you to get in here. I am now in, and I see everything. Alright, good. Alright. As you all take a seat in front of her, she'll look at you with, very, uh, with, a, with a very serious gaze, and will state, It would seem that you have proven yourselves at least somewhat useful. This cipher will do wonders for us. 
Now, as to your future, my scouts have reported that what you have said is true. You have spent an inordinate amount of time around the Campbell's base. And seeing as how you have not been killed by them, one can only ascertain that perhaps what you were saying is true. I must admit, I am in a position. On the one hand, the killing of you will no doubt weaken one of our rivals, but honor dictates that I cannot do this. For you have fulfilled the task I have given you. So therefore, I make this offer instead. As you have proven yourselves at least somewhat competent, and you have achieved for me the cipher, I shall make another offer to you. One that I do so ever hope that you take. You are working for the Campbells. I propose that instead you work for me. It's very straightforward. You will be given a mission. Upon the completion of that mission, you shall have the opportunity to join our ranks. If you still choose not to join our ranks, then you can consider your debt to us paid in either case. How does that sound? Sounds mighty bad, right, guys? Yeah, that sounds mighty kind of you. Or gold nod. Good. How do you mean, uh... Is my versatile mastery still in insight? Uh, when did you use it? Um, before we went on the mission, when we talked to her at first. Nah, that only lasts a minute. Yeah. If you want to insight her, you can. can do that. Uh, seven. She's a very stoic personality. You're not really getting... A lot from it. Dragon got 18. He's got it. Uh, do either of you have it trained? I, I do, do not, not, no. Okay. You do not sense that she is lying. She has meant every word that she says. Well then. Since you seem to be accommodating... The mission is quite simple. There is a small fortress just outside of Flanderton that watches one of the Three Kings' roads. It has long since been abandoned. Uh, I believe it was once occupied by Shade Row. But our three cities' continued rivalry has dictated that now is the time for us to strike. Shade Row has become very, very much preoccupied with whatever is happening in the Aldefifian swamps. Therefore, we ought to take this fortress from them. It's quite a simple wet work job. Go in, destroy anybody that you find, leave no witnesses, and then plant our flag atop the tower. Simple enough. Are you capable of such work? I mean, I am. Yeah, I don't mind killing. I don't see why not. Good. It is a three-day journey to the tower, and I or fortress, and I suspect that it will take you just as much time to get there as a normal person. No doubt, however, you'll want to approach from the <clears throat> from not the roadside as to not be undetected. So therefore, you shall be allotted two weeks to complete your journey, complete your conquering of this fortress, and then to return. Sure, we can do that. Um, you don't mind us stopping, you know, on the way, right? Oh, I don't care. Just know this, that in two weeks' time, if you're not standing before me with a report stating how I can move my men into the tower, then I will consider you an enemy of the Black Bark Mercenary Company. And the next time that we meet will be with my sword drawn. Fair enough. You should also be aware. Check. You should also be aware that you will be watched. Should you fail in your mission, or should you attempt to flee, you shall be hunted like dogs. 
Did you say you wanted to marshal check? Yeah. Go ahead. 21. What would you like to know? God, I gotta open up the... If I, if I ask for equipment, is it, will it give... Well, okay. I'll ask for equipment. So you want... You want equipment? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. You okay Hold over on. there? Yeah, I'm trying to copy and paste. My computer started freaking out. All right, anyway. Um, Lady Sally Ride has... <clears throat> masterwork full plate. Masterwork Longsword, Masterwork Battle Banner, Masterwork Battle Horn, three Masterwork Daggers, and what also appears to be a Masterwork Crossbow, uh, Heavy Crossbow, excuse me. You can also see that she has a helmet in the corner that seems to be adorned with gems and may just be magical. She is what we like to call in the business stacked. Yeah, <laughs> the helm <laughs> masterwork. So, is there any way that we could get, you know, some more equipment? She'll raise an eyebrow. With money? Yeah, yes, you know. We pay for it if you have people of you can. We have a you know, quartermaster you can speak with if you wish to spend your coin. We have no problem supplying those that have coin to spare. All right. Appreciate it. Well then, here's a dossier, and she will hand you a few pieces of parchment with the information that I think will be pertinent. I do not send any that work for me uninformed. Please keep in mind, however, that even though you are given this intel, it is a fluid situation. Patrols move in and out, and we do not unfortunately know the exact movements of our enemies to the other kings. So I would suggest that you move quickly. The longer you wait, the less, in the less this intel will have impact. All right. Anyone that we should note that's important that's going to be in the place that we got to go to? All the information that you need is in the dossier. All right. That's what I figured. Thank you. Well, then, if there's nothing else, I will see you in two weeks. Yep. See you then. Dismissed. Oracle, get up and walk out. All right. So you can see that the other mercenaries are at least temporarily uh, not blocking you from going to certain areas. You feel that you have somewhat of a pass. There is also a quartermaster available that can sell you equipment. Specifically, this quartermaster specializes in armaments and can even sell masterwork armor, masterwork weapons, things of that nature. Uh, while Dragon is going back to the camp bills. Probably. Oh, yeah, I mean, if we're doing that, I want to check and make sure we're not being followed. Yeah, uh, me too. Sorry about that, guys. And something tells me we wouldn't be able to afford anything with master work. Yeah, we're kind of broke right now, which is why I want to go to the camp bills, because she didn't give a shit. I'm thinking of buying scale mail. But I need to make sure that's something I can equip. I think I can. That's something I'm trying to figure out if I want to get or not. Oh, I forgot. I have studded leather. So, you guys are heading back then? The Campbells, I am at yeah, least. I, think so. I don't know if anyone's joining me. I'm making sure that we're not followed either. If there's a way that I can do that. Sure, you can make a perception yeah, check. Yeah. Make sure we're not okay. phone head back to the camera. So I can always do shopping later. So, yeah, we can shop later. 
That's persuasion. My bad. No, it's the same roll, so. Yeah. Whatever bonuses you add, add to eight. Um, Orca and Cavity will see that you are definitely being followed. They're making no attempts to hide. They're following you. Okay. Uh, Dragon is going to stealth. We need to lose our fuck. Fuck. Trying to slip through the crowd as you move through the city, you are spotted and followed. You're not chased. Yeah, is our boy gonna roll for all of this? Is who gonna roll for you? Cavity's uh, AFK. Oh. Uh, yeah, because I know he rolls for stuff for all of us. Yeah. I just Dude. tried to, you know, do it myself first. Well, if you do it yourself, then you're not participating in group stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, then. I mean, I could have gave you advantage on the roll, but. Roll before I. Yeah. <laughs> well, normally I'm good at it. I have a really high bonus. It's just I rolled like shit. Yes, if that's the case, can can I check out the type of people in the Black Bark Tavern? Oh, so you're not leaving yet? Yeah, you can do that if you want. A marshal check. Sure. I'm going here. Twenty-two. Blackbark mercenaries are all experienced soldiers, even to the Greenhorns, which are trained quickly. They are a potent force for a reason. They are one of the top three rulers of Flanderton for a reason. The average season of the Blackbark mercenaries is three to four. Okay, um, what are you guys thinking during that? You want to wait for Cavity to get back, or? Uh, Orca will try to whisper to everybody, we can take more than one day to get to Campbell if we want to go to a random inn. Yeah. Also, you guys want to marshal check these guys for long us? Yeah, I, I just, um... I just came back from uh, zoning out. You guys want to go back from Campbell? I would like to check if the guys are still following us after we tried to stealth away. They are certainly still following you. Okay. There is that party we could head to. Oh, yeah. Maybe All right. Do you... Oliver, where the fuck did he go? Yeah, you know, he'll, he'll walk inside. Hey, oh, all right, there you are. Yo. Yeah. Um, do you want to go see you? You know, your friend in the party. Uh, which friend? Which, what? What are you talking about? You know, the lady like. The lady like. Ca cavity. Oh my god. <laughs> The one that you like, mate. The one that's going to the noble party. Oh, uh, Agatha. Yeah, sure. Oh, that was a okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Alright, let's go. Wait, okay, why would... I'd load it into the game. You know, we, we want to go to the party. I didn't, wouldn't take you for one who, who likes parties. I, I, I love parties. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we I'll move Cavity with you guys. But go ahead, continue. We're going to the noble party. We don't know where it is. Did what I say came through? What'd you say? Maybe we could lose them in the party. 
I look, mate, I I just wanna to go to the party. Also oh, that. Wait. <laughs> who who what are we doing? What who lose who? Shh. Just let's go to the party, mate. Yeah. I I get it, you said that a couple of times. <laughs> Insight. Just oh. just because you, you notice that he's different. Eleven men. He's very he's he's not he he doesn't want to be here right now. Ah, uh, I see man. He wants a good time. And Orca will trust y'all have a plan for us to lose him in the party. Oh right. <coughs> As you get to about here. You can hear that there is all sorts of music and all sorts of things coming from this house. There's a few drunk noblemen kind of staggering around around here. This must be the place. All right, let's go find Agatha. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all righty, uh then. I'd like to check if we're still being followed, so I can assume from probably you. <laughs> you you are being followed. They're not trying to hide. I would like to check for tremors, to try to find Agatha. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Anyway, yeah. make me a perception check to see if you can find this lady. Nope. Nope. Come on, guys. This is DC five. Guys, we're fine. I hope it's only five. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's that loud music, man. Okay. When you get to about here, you can see that there is a party happening. Um, there is a house guard up front. Who seems to be making sure people get do not get in that should not be in. And he's also managing the drunk people from stumbling out into the street. He does not look like he's enjoying his job at all. Inside you also hear Ooh! It oh seems God. that Agatha is giving a performance. Um uh, he'll walk up to the guard. Invitation, please. We, we're friends of Agatha. Uh-huh. She's got a lot of friends. Invitation, please. Or lesser Noble. Uh, I'll show on my merchant stuff. I don't know if I can try and get in with that. Oh, that's all well and good, sir. Invitation, please. Mm. Well, Did you get an invitation? Did she give us an invitation? I don't, don't remember, did. but if she did, Oliver will hand him the invitation. You do not have an invitation. <laughs> she, she gave us a verbal invitation. She literally did, man. All right, not just, lying. just stand there for a second. I have to wait. As the warm, wet, dulcet tones come reverberating off the walls from inside, Agatha is reaching the crescendo of her performance. You can see that the guard is very tired and does not fucking like this job. Alright, she's done. Don't fucking move. Yep, you got it. He'll call over it. his shoulder. Oi, Agatha! Yeah! Do you know these people? Oh. Oh. Appearing behind the guard, Agatha will appear in full cosplay dress. It appears that she's dressed as a rain cloud. Oh my goodness! Oh, yes, 
yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. Let them we in, showed let them up. In. Let them in, 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 let them in. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, come join me on the veranda. And she goes wandering over here. The guard will step aside and gesture for you to go in. I'd like to check if those guys come in with us. Fucking Christ, mate. You'd like to check what? If the guys following us also come in. They do not. All right. Okay, you can see that Agatha is very excited. Oh, oh, come here, come here, you. Come here, come here, come here. As, this, okay. as, as you move oh, up, my. you will see that, that Agatha is very excited that you showed up, Oliver. She will take your arm in hers, and then she will immediately begin introducing you to a bunch of people whose names fly over your head so quickly from her rapid introductions that you're not even quite sure who the first one or the last one was. <laughs> is it possible to get a vibe check in the party? Sure. Make me an insight check. I'll do the same because I want oh, that. God, nine. One sec. Okay. Can I make a check on the type of people that are kind of around here? Like a perception, I guess. Sure. That, I think that's the same thing. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, Oliver oh, and Dragon do not pass the vibe check. They don't know what the vibe is, except that it is way too much of whatever it is. Cavity also does not pass. Sin I also does not pass the vibe check. Whoops. You guys uh -huh. don't know how to party at all. Thankfully, hopefully, Sagashi no. doesn't bomb his role, which he does not. Uh, I'm Thank a party goer. Sagashi uh, melds. the only cool one. Sagashi melds into the party like butter on a pan and some meat chops. He's gone. Moving in and out, and this is what you're able to pick up, Sagashi. As you mingle into the party, high-fiving random noblemen, laughing at jokes that weren't very funny and trying to score some drugs, maybe, you're able to uncover the following things. The nobles here appear to be patrons of the arts. In fact... One of the few pastimes that is not considered to be in instantly dangerous is the appreciation of music and the arts. And Flanderton, much like any of the other major cities, is no stranger to having a clientele that caters uh, to that to that sort of thing. It would appear to that the these crowd. It, it would appear that these are mid class nobles. Um, nobody of the highest ranking families are here, but they're also not nobodies. There's quite a bit of wealth in this room, influence, and uh, opportunity, as it were. Agatha must be a pretty decent singer, shit. Wait, what do you mean by opportunity? Well, you why don't you use your drug-addicted rogue-like brain to figure out what I mean by that? Oh. <laughs> I uh, tried to <laughs> score some opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, opportunity? Gestures. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, this might... yes, right. Crimes. <laughs> I'm going to commit them. Also might be a good place to get some merchant connections. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you guys want to... Uh mingle in the party you can do so just let me know what you'd like to accomplish the only one who has no choice in what they do is oliver who is attached to a very large lady who insists on introducing him to everyone i'm following them <laughs> my guy my guy all right looks like we lost it for now boys <laughs> my man help the me, party please. If you like. pull me out pull me out pull me out i get that do you do this very often. Oh, of course, my dear. I've become quite popular as of late, ever since the last performer died of a mysterious illness. An, an illness? Indeed. Marion was truly a gift to the world. Her skills on the violin were something to be heard. But, unfortunately, a sickness took her. And as tragedy, as tragic as that was, I am now the only properly trained, classically so, performer of the entire area. And with that, I suppose, comes privileges in the monopoly of this music. Not that I would ever take advantage of it. Insight check. 
Yeah, ain't no way, bro. Three! <laughs> Editor's note. She totally fucking did. And so she keeps moving around the entire party, introducing you, uh, introducing you to people. What would you guys like to do while you're here? I think Abity was inciting Agatha for 17. Yes. She totally benefited from it. Um, um go ahead. Look, uh, do you always bring, you know, a, a man with you? Not, no, of course not. Not always. Only special ones. She'll turn her fat cheeks flopping in the wind. Looking at Oliver with softness in her eyes. Oliver will look at Orca. <laughs> Orca will look at Cavity. Want to get drinks? <laughs> <laughs> um. What? Don't look at me. Well, I've never been to these kinds of parties before. I've only been to yeah. uh, what? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I just want to be here so we don't get fucking, you know. Then he'll move a finger across his neck. So, so you don't actually party? Fuck no. This was your idea. I just don't Our want idea. Oh, anymore. Oliver, I must introduce you to one of my girlfriends. Oh, Siddeley, come meet Oliver. Look at him. Wiggles you around in front of other women. Oh, my God. Isn't he so handsome? I'm loving hello there. This. this is great. All right, and as you say hello, you will see that there are three strangely proportioned women that approach, and they begin to squeal with Agatha. Hey, my God, would you look at him? Oh, look at his hair, long locks, so thick. Oh, does your hair naturally curl that way? Can I touch it? It's like the fucking... Uh, <laughs> it, it, yeah, you, you can... <laughs> they start poking at your hair and everything. It's, it's incredible. Man. All right. This reminds me of the one time that my aunt did the exact same fucking thing to me. Alright, what do the rest of you guys do while, uh, Oliver's being sacrificed on a fleshy altar? Sagashi wants to go scan the room, see, look at, like, the richest noble here. Like, the most blinged out noble that he can see. Alright, give me that perception check, see if you can spot him. Do I get advantage since I rolled 20 on insight? Negative. Okay. Uh, and what well, perception, right? Perception. Yep. That's it. Bunny, let's go. Spotted. Cloud. Target spotted. You can see that there is, well, a very skinny looking man covered head to toe in fine clothing. He has a ring on every finger and an ostentatious necklace around his neck. You can see that he is just really lavishing it up. He's buying everyone drinks. He's definitely throwing around his money. Oh, um, could I? Uh, okay, so I, so I move to the beat like shimmy shimmy. Yeah. To the guy. Yeah. Like, um, you know, playing, with, you know, moving with the groove, and I say, Dylan. You say what? Hey, how you doing? And he'll look over. Oh, hello, sir. I don't think I've seen you around these parts before. Yeah, he's sneaking it out. I, 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 how you day been? It's been a long time since I'd seen you. Oh, I don't think we've met before. Apologies, Are friend. you sure? Yes, I, I'm, I'm a friend of Agatha's. Oh, you're a friend of the performer. Quite the Ex wonderful little songbird she is. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Listen, let's let's just cut to the chase. And he goes, whispers into the uh, uh, tizzers. Do you want a fun time? 
All right, persuasion check. All right. Persuasion. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yeah, he'll kind of, he'll kind of like lean away from it's you a, a little nine. bit. He'll kind of it's lean away from you a little bit, and he'll say, "What do you mean a good time exactly?" You know, get get a hip to your step, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, make another persuasion check. Uh, check. So I'll be oh, 17. I see. You're one of those those drug dealers. Yes. Oh, medicine that, providers. How Ph novel. Pharmaceutical. Phar pharmaceutical experts. <laughs> how, how novel. Oh, I haven't met one on the street before. Oh my goodness. Yes, I would. I would love to purchase some of your wares, good sir. I would love to feel good. <laughs> Well, um, you know, it's, it's better, uh, it's better if you drink it. And I will basically DM, I want to roofie him. Okay, yes, I, I get that. And yes. he goes, <laughs> he, he goes, he goes, drink, you say? I thought you smoked those. Nah, but we're in a party scene, you know. You don't wanna, you don't, you, you don't wanna, you know. B, you, you know, don't want to stand out to the crowd, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, but quite the opposite. I want everyone to see how cool I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, it's, it's, as an expert, as a pharmaceutical expert, as your doctor, I recommend that you should drink it. Should not, should not fl flaunt it away. Oh, all I'm right. just saying. All right, all right. I, I, I guess I see what you're saying, but, but it's doing it now. Why? Is I'd like to enjoy the party more. You gotta enjoy it ten times, twenty times more. All right. Trust me. All right. Persuasion check, you actual slimy salesman. <laughs> Persuasion check. That's it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. This this nobleman will go. This is you great. know what? I like the cut of your jib, good sir. Oh, I don't have your name. What is, what is your name? My name's Sakamoto. Sakamoto. Ooh, that sounds foreign. Huh. My name is James Lander. He'll offer his hand. I go and uh, offer my paws <laughs> again. <laughs> slime, 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 snake, snake, snake. <laughs> All right, he'll, he'll shake your hand. I was like, oh, yes, well, I guess I'll try some of that. So, yeah, I want to grab, I want to, like, uh, have, uh, have, you know, uh, modify the dose that he would get, like, roofied, basically. Uh, oh, past. I, yeah, I, I get it. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. All right, so you kind of prepare him a drink. You pass yes, him a I little prepare. bit of it. He'll take, yeah. he'll take a deep sip. Mmm. Oh my! Oh yes. A hint of uh, vanilla, right? Oh, this lavender. Is, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, and he will roll his Constitution saving throw, but mysteriously had advantage. And then you will suddenly see the man start to get a little wobbly, a little wiggly. Ho 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 ho! You weren't kidding, friend. That's pretty good. Not quite as good as the stuff my brother sells, but not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, do I, can I, like, see that if, if the drugs will get him fucking in a state enough where I can steal shit from him? Well, he's, he's pretty buzzed. He is pretty buzzed, but, like, is he hammered? No, he is not. Enough work. Even though you gave him a good enough dose, he should be. Is this man <gasps> resistant? Is he also a partier? No, it's impossible. Or is it? Oh. Oh wait, 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 wait! I think I. Uh, uh, that's not enough. That's not enough. One second. I skimped you out. I'm very sorry. He'll kind of look down and he'll say, "Are you not going to join me, friend? Doing these by I yourself will. is no fun at all." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take. Don't worry. It's your turn. Bottoms up. Yes. 
He'll, Bottoms up, and offer I... you the cup. <laughs> Is it the same but, cup no, you, you gave him? You, no, no, you, I insist. You need to, you need to finish it's it. It's better no, to be shared and be yeah. friends. Oh my you goodness! To, you need to finish it. Oh, no, you, need to, finish you it. need to take some too. I insist. Well, no, you. you they they say uh, there's a common saying in my foreign land: don't get high on your own supply. You know what I'm saying? That's a strange so thing. Is it's an oath. I cannot break that oath. <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> Don't worry. And I, I, I say, please, please continue a drink. Please. All right, enjoy. fine then. He'll just down the rest of it like a champ. Mm. And uh, he, he fucking goes and uh, offers his hand as payment. And he'll reach slowly into his into his chest pocket, and then he'll pass you. Ah, oh, here you are! And he'll give you some a small stack of gold coins. How much would that be? And I like shift through it. He gives you ten gold. No, 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 no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not enough. Oh, how much mm. was it? Two hundred gold pieces. <laughs> Two hundred gold, huh? Oh my goodness, he'll take his money back. Let me get you something proper. I reached into the wrong pocket. Ah, here you are. He just hands you a, a small gold bar. How much would that gold <laughs> bar? Uh, do you have merchant? Um, One of us, I think, does. Yes, I yes, yeah, I... yes, but you're not there. You're somewhere else yeah, in the Yeah, I just it says, ah, oh, I think this would be... Sufficient enough. Well, you see, this this takes a long time to ship from the foreign land, so it's it's very valuable. Yes, you, of course. You, you have to understand that. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Good, have a, a, oh, thank you very much, uh, Sakimoto. Uh, yes, very good. Uh, you there, miss, as he wanders over. Are you willing to make a bad decision tonight? Okay. More customers question. He, he, no, he's talking about him. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, I go back to the group, and as I shimmy, shimmy, back into the group. And uh, who had the merchants? Remember? That would be me. Ten. That would be me. So I go, and I, um, like, fucking like, uh, slide, and, like, you know, show, show Orca. And it's like, how much do you think this costs? How much About costs one. this one? It's sin, not me. <laughs> Let me take a look. Oh! Never mind. Damn, I'm just rolling bad today. Sin, you think this is worth a couple hundred gold? Couple hundred. Couple hundred. There's a. Uh... Cavity, you do not see any other fellow teenagers. Oi, Sin, Riff. I've got an idea. These people are fucking drunk. You wanna, you know, grab some pockets. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If if you wanna grab some pockets, I have a I have a prime target. Okay. And he and he says and I go and like I point into that weirdo fucker that is in the Ooh. process. <laughs> Look, Sam, you wanna do it? Yeah, just make sure we don't get caught. Alright, let's do it. What's your bonus to slide a pair? Plus four. I've got a plus six. All right, you can see at this point, the incredibly high noble uh, is saying, All right, ladies, line up in order from prettiest to ugliest. Be honest now. You know who you are. He is very gone. Rude. He immediately okay. gets slapped by three of them, but then four of them line up. I'm... Am I allowed to stealth again? The dichotomy of man. What's up? <laughs> Am I allowed to stealth again in here and try to, like, pickpocket him? Sleight of hand is used for, uh... Okay. Like, lifting Pocket. pockets. Yeah. I will attempt to do that. I will help giving you advantage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. Natural 20! Let's see. Nice. I don't know how we keep pulling this stuff off, but it's amazing. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Got some mid level nobles. Hey, I'm a 90. Yeah. Mid level nobles. Uh, let me do some calculation real quick. Let's see. There's Rogue more. stuff, by the way. Oh, yeah. Maybe we got a disguise <laughs> kit from one of them and we can That'd use it nice. to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, maybe, right? <laughs> Oh. Now, if they see if the they see that we don't come out, it's gonna be suspicious. Probably not a good idea to disguise. All right, maybe. So, this role will be for fensible goods. So this okay. will represent a gold piece value. It's not actual gold until you fence it. So okay. Keep the track of it separately. Yeah, I I will. Uh, yeah, let's see about five nobles. They're partying. Let's do. Let's do that. Four hundred and four gold worth of valuables. Oh yeah. Nice. Dragon just swiping stuff from pockets. Yoink. He'll eventually go back to the party. That was fun. Okay. After about uh, that takes several minutes to do um during that time oliver you have met everyone in the party and you do not remember any of them and then agatha will take you out here into the peacefulness of the courtyard before uh, that yeah i have a question sure what is your question is it possible to okay i don't know how i'm gonna phrase this but I wrote in the chat that Oliver does a few push-ups and backflips. Yeah. I'm not saying that... Let's say he takes off a few articles of clothing. Uh-huh. And does more exercises. Uh-huh. Is it possible to get gold from that? <laughs> I am not a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about Whatever that? Whatever you say, Billy. All right, that is a performance check. I am inspiring that. <laughs> All right, reroll. Oh my god. Reroll. Oh my god. god. Oh, no. Damn. Anybody That's else? Anybody else gonna bail him out? Anybody else got inspiration? <laughs> I already used Anthony mine. Does. You guys really want it for this? My man, you don't have to save him. If you want, save him. Bro, what kind of wingman would I be if I didn't? Oh, you can have it. Oh, let's go, oh, dude. Lord, man. Okay, I'm back. You don't have to that. stand, like, next to him. <laughs> you don't have to stand. Nah, bro, join in, bro. Please. Nah. I gotta be there for the home. Cavity starts hyping the fucking crowd. <laughs> Helping him do sit-ups. Yeah. Alright, roll again, Yeah, I said hyping him. Okay. Ooh, ooh. You bailed him out. As you start doing it, people are like, oh, this is weird. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, look at them muscles, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I think he needs a glass of water. You pour it on his back. Hey! <laughs> now that real art. Ag Agatha blushes. Um, the other ladies start going, ah! Uh, people in the background are like, what the fuck is going on over here? And then, uh, somehow, shirtless Oliver is able to generate, god, I don't know, let's, let's do, um, 500. <laughs> if he got 500, I'd go insane. <laughs> 108 gold pieces get thrown oh, Jesus wide. Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what 50 50 right cavity we're splitting it 50 50 i'm i'm pu i'm putting in the party gold by the way all right and at this point 50, 54 54 when, when you finish your uh, when you finish your performance oliver and then you stand up and everybody's cheering agatha then drags you to the courtyard because other people have seen enough of your delicious meats <laughs> do we see agatha dragging her out because if so i wouldn't like to leave oliver completely alone out there 
Make me a perception check. There's a lot of partying going on. Cavity, you were approached by two of the women that are like, do you know him? Are you his friend? What's your name? Orca sees Agatha drag uh, Oliver outside. I'll at least move closer to the door that they went out so I can be closer if something goes bad. I totally know him. He's the coolest fella ever, but uh, I don't know. He's, it's hard to get tight with him, so I'm sorry, ladies, if you want your chance with him. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be hard. Oh, we don't want him. We want to know more about you. They kind of come in on both sides. Oh, you oh, you don't say. Do oh, I see okay. this? You're, you're stealing right now. Okay. And I'm helping, so I guess I'm not. You, you guys, guys are party animals, too? Yeah. We sure are, Sagashi. I'm, I'm vibing. You're, you're just... Yeah, vibing. Uh, I want to, I wanna, like, see if there, there's an open bar. Open bar? Uh, there's a wine fountain. Good enough for me. Uh, I want to go to the wine fountain. I get fucking hammered? Uh, just look. Stand next to it. That's it. Alright. As you're standing next to the wine fountain, you can see that Cavity is being flanked by two ladies. I... I... I go and says, Wait! Are you... Wait! I don't want to, like... Um, like, pretend that uh, Cavity is, like, like the awesomest person ever. You bet no. I am, yep. Please tell me about your escalates. Please tell me about your adventures. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, man you're gonna have to do a little better than Please tell me of your accolades. Like, what? <laughs> this NPC response. It it's you, Please. the hero of Kavach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he literally okay. just said, It's you, the kid hero of Kavach. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so you. Oh, my God, ladies. He's a big deal, by the way. I'm just saying. All right. Oh, you're too kind. Hey, girls, let me introduce you all to my. The hype man of the hype man. This fella is he's a foreign guy, uh, but oh, he knows how to party. Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. I please, my name is Sakamoto. Please to please to meet you. <laughs> They're just so overwhelmed, they don't know who's better. And then a third lady joins in, and then the two of you are bogged down with this with these three. Can they see that if can they, like, see if they're, like, pretty rich? I mean, yeah, they're from rich families. Do they display any jewelry, then? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are any of them skinwalkers? No, but they want to know what it's like to have uh, skin walked in, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I was going to have an idea. I really, no, that's I really like your accent. Oh, what I'm also a... I... Oh, what are you saying there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man? Of the hype man? Go, 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 go. <laughs> What's up, man? What? Did you want to say something? <laughs> you want to... You're... Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, Glay and Tag. You, you, you get my spiel. <laughs> Where's my accent? Arigato gozaimasu. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Can you speak another language? Looks at you, Cavity. I give him I give them a bit of a uh, Sylvan or whatever the animal thing is. <laughs> Gobbly goop grab 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 <laughs> Gobbledy goop grab 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 I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> is, there, is there a canon way it sounds like? I could emul emulate that. I mean, I mean yeah, but... <laughs> Gobble me, you raga, 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 it was great, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can just hold on to that. Besides, they won't know any difference anyway. They're losing it. Meanwhile... Yes! Outside, 
in the courtyard. Agatha will lead uh, Oliver away from the party, and then she will look at him and say, I can't believe you showed up. I was so happy when I saw you. Yeah, I, I would have shown up sooner, but uh, we sort of got held up, unfortunately. Oh, it's fine. Tell me about your day. My day? Well, uh, can't, I can't really talk about that. Unfortunately, we are uh, working for some pretty... Oh, I see. I see. Say no more. My day was pretty well. I got to get ready for this party. The party was going so well, by the way. I've gotten so many new clients. I have my entire next month booked with performances. There's even talk of me doing a tour through the Three Kings. It's all very exciting. But the road is lonely. And she starts to um, tap your shoulder. Uh, by the way, uh, just to ask, what was the, the outfit for? Oh, it's for the play. A Little Bit of Rain is what it's called. In it, I play a depressed rain cloud who, well, through the act of singing my way through my problems, I, sh I shed my negative energy as rain down upon those below who need joy and sustenance and I clean myself from gray to white. See? And her dress has frills she can tear off that are gray revealing a white dress underneath. Mind if I see the whole dress? She will blush and will take off all of the gray frills to show you the full white dress. It actually is pretty stunning on her. Never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. She will <laughs> blush at that and will say, Do you really think so? Oh, God. Yes, I really do think so. She will uh, gift you with a smile. Her eyes light up as she looks upon you, Oliver. Make me an insight check. I haven't made any of these so far. Eight. She seems pretty into you. Probably nothing more than that, though. Oh, wow. Uh... You were saying before about the road being lonely, uh, do you think you're in danger or something? Do you need guards? Oh, uh, well, my secu- And then she suddenly looks at you and says, Oh, yes, I could certainly use some guards. Big, strong, handsome ones. She starts to, uh, move closer to you. Would you like- to protect me on the road? Oliver? Oh, I'm gonna marsh your check Agatha again. <laughs> a critted. Well, that's 24. a marsh. Wait, is that a marshal check? <laughs> yes, a marshal check. Um, what do you want to know about? What's her stats? Oh, God. <laughs> you want to know her stats? <laughs> <Is she> intelligent? <laughs> Holy shit. He's just getting to know her better. This is really romantic, right? Oh, man. That is... I bet Constitution's pretty good. <laughs> All right, um, 
her stats are 14 strength, 10 dexterity, 16 constitution, 11 int, 11 wisdom, and 16 charisma. She is proficient in constitution and charisma saving throws. That's pretty solid. Nice. I see. I'd have to maybe talk about my boys. I think we are currently undergoing another mission, unfortunately. Oh. She will look disappointed. She'll look away down at the floor or the ground, I guess. And then uh, she'll Oliver look. Will... Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, Oliver will take her hand and he'll go, that doesn't mean that we uh, won't consider it, though. All right. Persuasion check. Hit me with that riz, brother. Come on, that 20 again. <laughs> Damn! God damn! My man, this yeah, love is meant way. to happen, man. Uh, she will. <laughs> give me the toilet. She will, she will once again um, flash with red, and then overwhelmed with the level of Riz, will lean forward and attempt to kiss you, Oliver. Do you accept? Why is she doing that? What? What? What do you mean? He's wearing. I think he's saying that because he's wearing his mask his entire time. Oh, that's fair. Oh, she will just lean forward to kiss you. She's she's not really thinking clearly. She's being rizzed up right now. Let me do something real quick. Uh, Oliver will accept it. Let's go. Okay. Do you lift your mask and give her a, or lower your mask and give her a Spider-Man kiss? <laughs> uh, uh. Come on, melancholy. Core. <laughs> All right, you share a moment of passion with Agatha. Great. Oliver faints afterwards. She will catch you and hold you close, for she is strong enough. Orca witnesses this entire thing. Yep, and at that, Orca will rush outside and. Try to help her carry him back into the party. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. And you will. All right, Cavity and Sagashi, you will notice that <laughs> Melancholy is once again unconscious. It's being dragged inside. <laughs> oh, um, dear. Well, down my drink and call me tipsy. I hope he's, he's all right. Uh... Soko Moto, you wanna go check up on him? I can handle these girls. Yeah. Believe. Believe. Splash a little wine boogie. in his face. <laughs> boogie, boogie down. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, you splash Ooh. wine in his face. Try to wake him up. There's no water. You said, you said wine. Well. I, I there was a wine fountain. All right, you get fucking splashed with wine and wake up, Oliver. Uh, do I have to roll Constitution? Nah, you get woke the fuck up. Uh, what? 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 What's happening? She will immediately I... start to wipe off your face with her handkerchief. Oh, don't worry, my dear. Just a little spot of wine got on you is all. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where, what's going on? Are we still party over? Are we still... Oh, what's it's happened? still going. No party. You just fainted a bit. <laughs> I, th 
I, I, I need to pee, guys. I'm sorry, you laughed it out of me. Too. <laughs> no problem. Be right back, two okay. seconds. Okay, guys. So what happened oh, when God, I you when it left? What, what guys happened when I like? Oh, you uh, guys should probably wasn't... catch NBA up because he missed yeah, some yeah. stuff. Oh, so NBA. So basically, after we gave uh, the captain the fake cipher and they took the lieutenant away. She's like, oh, I could kill you, but you could be useful. And in, she said, if we do this mission for her, we can officially be part of Black Bark. And so our mission is basically, there's this like, uh, we're in Flanderton, right? And there's this other city in, in the Three Kings called Shade Row. And that city is kind of like um, town itself. So, and they have like a tower that's kind of, I think she said it was abandoned, right guys? Was it like... They don't use it anymore, or it is not abandoned. Oh, okay. So, but... five people. We gotta take it back. But yeah, there was some like they're, they're, the Shade Row people have some tower, and uh, so she wants us to like capture it and you know pretty much kill everyone there and put their flag there. You know, take it for the Blackbird Mercenary Company instead of uh, what's his face Shade Row. And we have three. Uh, she, it's like a three days journey to that outpost. And we have a dossier, but we didn't read it yet. And we have two weeks to finish it, or else she'll be like pretty cross. And we see, and people are following us. That's why we kind of went to this party so that we'd be somewhere where we couldn't be watched. Yeah, all right. that, all that to the side. Uh, she did give us the choice that she would not kill us because she's honor bound since we did our job if we went back to mr campbell we wouldn't be killed on the way to him now but the next time we meet any of her people we're sword to sword fighting right so if we if we finish this mission we can like you know be free of our debt or we could continue to work with her but we have to do this mission no, so right we just, now we, we are right now we are free of our debt. We do not have to do the mission. Doing the mission no, no, no. gives no, us no, no, the no. ability no, you're to join her. Rinko, Rinko is correct. We have to do the mission. Like we're free of the debt from her men dying. If we do this mission, she will be peaceful with us, but we can still work with her. It's a it's a choice. It's a player's choice. Like if we want to go back, because right now my character. I want to go back to the Campbells. I'm just going to be honest. Yes, yeah, me too. But I don't want them to see us go back to the Campbells. Yeah, that's that's why well, I'm trying to get... Even... I'm trying to get Sorry. us mixed up into this party, so that way when we do go out, like, maybe we can do it at night or something, or whenever the party ends, and I was going to hopefully get Agatha to, like, sneak us out to the Campbells without being maybe seen. Maybe have her distract Whoa. two guys following us. Yeah. My honest thought process is... They're going to find out we're still at Campbell's, whether it's a day later or two days later. They're going to be keeping an eye on the Campbell's. So whether we walk back there with them following us or not, they are honor bound not to stab us before we get in the door to the Campbell's. Oh yeah, actually just give it to Agatha and have her take it back. Oh wait, we still have the real cipher, right? Yes. Yeah, we still have the real one. We could ask like, Agatha uh, to give it to the Campbell. I think they're probably watching Campbell's now. I wouldn't want to involve Agatha. Wait, um, so, um, will we get any reward for this mission or no? The reward for this mission would be being allowed to join Black Bark, which I really don't care about. Yeah, Unless we're care. giving up on Mr. Campbell altogether, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. Mm hmm Okay. But I mean, Campbell still goes as gold for the line, thing, right? Doing the mission to, you know, be a double agent and get information on the Black Bark for Campbell or whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the thought process of my character is we we fucked up. We, we went to the Black Barks um, and we, you know, we did the thing that they wanted to do. They wanted Goran's head. We gave them the entire Gorn instead. We gave them my false cipher. Yeah, we have no idea what they did with the entire Gorn. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. we gave them my false cipher, and we can still work with them. We have this mission that will take us. You know, we can go there three days. It'll take. Uh, we can take two weeks to do it. 
And then uh, after the two weeks, we can work with the Black Barks. But my character wants to go back to the Campbells and tell, you know, explain what is happening at least a little Wait, bit. So, yeah, I not? wouldn't be a fan of going straight to the Black Barks because they would look at us as people that betray their leaders at the drop of a hat. They would never actually work with us. We would just be waiting for them to stab us in the back. Yeah. I mean, unless we get good with them. I thought she said that if we do this mission, she'd allow us to go back to the camp bells if we wanted. Or at least leave. Uh, yeah. I, I believe we already we earned we already earned the right to leave. And she is honor bound not to kill us if we go back to the Campbells. But the next no, no, time no. she, she sees said... us, we will be fighting. Because she knows no, no, we're she... rivals. And that we're no, taking back the information. That... No, she said that if we tried to leave, we would be killed. You have to do the mission first. Okay, I, I guess I misheard that. I, mean, we did, well, I did hear that part, which kind of makes it a little confusing. She didn't mention yeah. the camp bell specifically, but she did say that if we tried to desert or flee or, you know, if we not do this them. mission, we would be, you know, because we're being watched right now. If we, like, you know, try anything, then well, it's like... Okay. Like, no, you're 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 still incorrect. In my notes, I have written exactly this. She that was the mission beforehand. She was going to kill us if we tried to run from the Gorin situation. She said uh -huh. nothing about killing us here. I mean, she did. I literally. She actually say. said she was honor bound not to kill us. If y'all can provide what that was for, maybe I have the context of what she would not kill us for. Wrong. But she said that she is honor bound because we made everything equal not to kill us. Yeah, and I assume that is for until we get back to Mr. Campbell or if we decided to give up on the gangs altogether and just go off, she wouldn't kill us. But if we do go back to Mr. Campbell, once we go through the front door, we are portraying ourselves as against her again and she will... You know, the honor bound only gets us to the front door. After that, they could come and kill us tonight at Mr. Campbell's. So, basically, we just have to do this. Okay. Fine. Well, even if we go and do this, it won't get us peace to go back to Mr. Campbell. She's never going to let us go back to Mr. Campbell without being a rival. I mean, that's not necessarily This like only true. gets us the ability to join Black Bark if we want to, as yeah. far as I know. I mean, yeah, and if, maybe if we get into Black Bark, she'll allow us to be a spy, because we already have <laughs> Edwin Campbell. Yeah, I think we'll get it cleared up when Arcadum comes back, but other than that, what do we want to do with the real cipher? I want to give it to the Campbells. And I mean, how are we going to do that? Yeah, get paid. And get paid. And my, my... Yeah, we'll get paid for it. I guess my guess is to just go and give it to Mr. Campbell. I don't really see the point to losing these people when the first thing they're going to do when they lose us is go to Mr. Campbell's area and check there. I mean, that's an assumption, but yeah. Basically, we need to make sure these people aren't following us at all times. Yeah, we need to get away. Yeah, I think the simple... If you want my honest play, I think the simple thing is to maybe have agatha do it or like yeah I, I was gonna say someone else but i don't think we have someone else agatha is probably the best we have All she we does the whole transaction people. and brings All us the money the doctor, but we well cavity has some new friends now maybe i can do it i do not i mean trust yeah, them. He, them women. He, here's the problem right if if you think that it is good to get agatha involved in this situation that is completely up to you no, they might have I think they did hear us. Yeah, what, was her, what was her stats? Because they could be watching the Campbell's area. Yeah. Yeah. And they probably did overhear us say that we knew Agatha, so maybe not the best idea. But that's and the ones following us may have just seen you outside with her. Yeah. So, maybe get so uh, I would like to keep them thinking that we just came here to see your lover and party real quick and that this has nothing to do with any of the gangs. Yeah, I... I want to sneak out, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm planning towards. I 
Or maybe give it to Agatha and make sure Agatha isn't followed. Oh, I don't know, because the thing about sneaking out, I... Fomi said this, was that they probably are just watching the area in general. So, like, I guess you could... Uh, if you... I don't know. I'm back, uh, sorry. Maybe we could go find a focus. carrier to deliver a lever for us, but those guys might intercept the carrier. I don't see anything wrong with trying to sneak out. I just don't really see the benefit to it, but that's just me. I mean, the benefit is them not knowing that we deliver this back to the Campbells. Because I'm, want that yeah, my thing is... I'm back, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> I... I just think, well, I guess if we delivered it back to Mr. Campbell and then disappeared from the Campbells, they wouldn't know. But if we spend two, three days hanging out, or going back and forth, if they're watching the Campbells area, they're going to know. Especially if the group no, that's it's... following us isn't the only group. There could be another group at the Campbells area and a group following us for all we know. I don't know. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with trying to stealth out. I just didn't see the reason. I mean, we would just give it to the Campbells and then not hang out there at all because we don't want them to. But we need. To yeah, to like it. tell tell we'll... them. Well, we need to talk to them. All right, the Do we all have to go? Because then I guess if would it better our chances if we all go or if we split up and then give them Maybe more a stuff to look out? Princess. Oh, that could visit the camp and have them like, <laughs> Oh my god! Go after <laughs> multiple people. Can we get a clarification, by the way? If we if we go back to the Campbells right now, will we die? Because we're confused on that. Yeah, we on what? Our, because she said she'd kill us if we left. We're trying to figure out what she means. So you'd be hunted down like dogs, yeah. See, the whole point is, was is that, that... Was that going to the Campbells, though, is what we're well, asking? Well, think about it logically. If you go back to your rival gang, a, a rival gang that you worked for and that she found out that you worked for after you were expressly told that you work for her now, what do you think she's going to do? Yeah, so yeah. that Absolutely, makes but I, I guess the question was, her honor bound to not kill us, would that at least get us into Mr. Campbell's front door, or would they try to put an arrow in the back of our head before we got to him? I can't answer that question for you, because you do Yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, I guess the other clarifying thing was uh, the mission reward, right, was to... Was it, did that allow us to go back to the camp bells or was the mission reward just journeying the black bark? Your mission reward for bringing her the cypher was that you weren't killed. Yeah. And then, like, you have to understand, like, the, the person that you originally worked for is the camp bells. Like, your mission was to get the cypher for them is still in progress, right? You got mm -hmm. mixed up with the mercenary company, the Black Bark Mercenary Company, and now she wants you to work for her instead because you proved yourself to be competent, right? So, like, you're, like these are rival families. Like, who you, ended up, who you end up siding with will just... I mean, that's up to you, right? But understand that they're going to have realistic reactions to what you do. So, like, if you join Black Bart, well, the Campbells are not going to like you guys anymore. But if you go back to the Campbells... After having your lives spared by the Black Bart Mercenary Company, well, they're probably not going to like you anymore, right? Like this, this whole thing, yeah, so this whole thing is like you, you're, you're in a turf war between four families trying to see who comes out on top. And you started the game uh, on the side of the underdog, so it's up to how you want to do this. And assuming that if they let us back in Mr. Campbell's front door, we could tell them of their plans to go hit the tower. They probably will try to kill us if we head to Campbell's, so we probably should try to lose them if we do that. That's just my thought I process. Clarifying... I have a clarifying question. Yeah. Is, um... So this new mission that we have to uh, get that tower from the Shade Row people, do we... What's the reward for that? You get to join. Uh, yeah, I get to join. Being able to join oh, the gold or anything? No, the Black Tower. She didn't yeah. offer you any. No. Oh, okay. That doesn't mean you won't be paid, but, I mean, it, look, think about it this way. Like, you guys are thinking about this in too much video game logic, right? This lady found out who you were working for, a rival gang, decided to use you as an opportunity to advance her, her faction. After you not only provided her with what she believes to be the cipher, having you completed the mission, not only have you accomplished this mission, but proven yourselves competent to do so, so as an additional attempt of an opportunity, she is trying to employ you to join her. 
she's doing it through a way that is obviously intimidating and not soft, but by having you go on this mission, then you will earn the right to join their company, right? Which has all sorts of, of, of benefits with it, like access to an armory, um, you'll be a part of a more powerful faction, that kind of stuff. Like, the value is being in that faction, right? And all the stuff that comes with it. At least, that's what she believes. Whether or not you agree with her is only relevant to you, because that's what her offer is. So, question. Would Black Bark be okay with drugs? You don't know. Okay. You just don't know that. I mean, it's it's... It's up to uh, how you want to research and how you want to approach this. And although I do not want to... See, I don't like giving you guys options unless I have to because I don't want to affect your decisions as characters. But I will point this out so that you guys have the right mindset for it. This is not me suggesting that you do it. This is me reminding you to think of it this way, right? What has she done by offering you this mission? She has offered us a spot in her... No, no, no. She's done something I'm... more than that. She put her trust in us with a bunch she, of information she, that we wouldn't go to and give it away. So she she revealed that there is a fort, a, a outpost that is weakened, able to be taken, right? She's uh -huh. also revealed its importance to the Black Bart Mercenary Company. She's also revealed its strategic importance as a military installation. So... Because she revealed all that to you, you could very well easily conquer it for the Campbells instead. You see what I mean? Like that is a yeah. opportunity that you could take. Or, this you is know, this is how you, the people that are there and yeah, you could even talk to the people that are there, and like change allegiances completely. Like, they, you guys have to decide what you yeah. want to do. Don't think about it like in video game terms, right? Because that's what I've been seeing a lot of like. Disabuse yourself of that. You can do anything that you want to, but understand that characters, factions, like the world will keep its versimilitude. It will react to you doing that. So keep that in mind because you don't want to get yourself killed by pissing off a faction that you're in no position to defend yourself against. But at the same time, you have to take calculated risks in order to advance yourselves and the faction that you want to ally yourself with. You guys see what I mean? Yeah. 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 This is a dance. That's what this whole campaign is about, is a dance to the criminal world. So. I mean, we should talk about it in character. And right now, I think... Allegiance with as well. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Cavity will excuse himself from his new friend. Well, we're, we're doing stuff. Like, we're oh. in the middle of RP and stuff. Alright, so. anyway. So, you awaken, Oliver, being held by Agatha's large arms uh i guess i should let you boys know that uh well agatha said she could use bodyguards at some point well, even though we have a mission right now indeed i can oh thank Oh god, my thing's lagging. What's happening? Work a strong guard. Sagashi? This. <laughs> Sorry, I was high. <laughs> what happened? I guess they said that uh, uh, she currently doesn't have any guards and she could, she could use some. Maybe after we do this current job. Yeah, sure. We could guard you. Waddle, 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 waddle. I am trustworthy. I, um, he, like, uh, pulls out his hand as a shake. And, like, two shake hands, like, this. Uh, I, uh, we, we will protect you. Waddle, waddle, out, waddle, out. To boogie down to uh, to the other people. Okay, have you have you been to parties before? Usually, stay in corner. 
in a corner. Or cook. Hmm. Agatha, do you know if uh, the people in this household would allow Orca to cook something? Maybe have a little feast, I guess, to close out the party. <laughs> Orca, good cook. What the fuck, dude? I don't know. <laughs> I, it's just gonna be you. Field oh, dude, of I shitters. Hope. Field <laughs> of shitters. Field of shitters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once it can, we cook. You guys are done stealing now, and uh, oh. you're excusing yourselves from the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start getting this train wreck on the road here. <laughs> oh, Wait, we are cooking? So what you guys been up to? Yeah, what have you been up to? All over blushes. Oh my. Why are you red, Oliver? Uh, what are we gonna talk about? Why are we gathered? Oh, um, we should probably talk about this, right? Like I said, you're pretty trustworthy. I don't mind talking here. Well, we don't necessarily want her to endanger herself. I mean, if you feel like you're being endangered, Agatha, you'd you, you know, right? You're muted, you our kid, by the way. Hello? What? Oh, there, there we go. go. Hello? No, I'm sorry. Uh, could you repeat what you said? We're basically just, like, asking her, like, she, she's trustworthy and we're gonna discuss something with her here. She will. She will nod and look and gazing and gaze lovingly at Oliver. Agatha and Oliver and everyone here. We we need to talk about what we do next. All right, I'm listening. So look, all right, we've we fucked up a little bit, but we can still allegiance with anyone, right? My around. question, my question for you all, do you want to betray the Campbells? Not we really. already did. No. Not really. We still Not have the cipher. I won't know more about this lady. Then I'll make my decision. Uh, Mr. Milo is a pretty cool guy, you know. I mean, he gives me water all the time, and uh, this this oh new God. captain fella doesn't seem like. She would take kindly if I asked. Her, her office doesn't even have like a nice place for drinks and food and, and you know, Mr. Milo has a whole bar and so I don't mind either side, but I kind of lean in towards the camp. I the disagree. I think Oliver's going to grab Agatha's hand and move her away from the conversation. Ah, uh, good. What, you, disag you disagree? How yes. so? I think the black barks are. Uh, well, I think the black barks are way more powerful. I think the 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 ones that we were been uh, we were allying with are a bunch of pussies and not and not powerful enough. I think we should ally ourselves with the big dog because we are a big. Mister Campbell gave Orc a first chance. Orca not betray him. Yeah, you know, look. That's the name have... of the game, though. We we've we've already kind of awesome. look. We have the the real cipher. We gave that lady a false one. This is, you know, like I I don't know how to explain this. Sure. Look, look. If if you guys want to. Bro, if you guys want to go with the Campbells, I'm all ears. I'm fine with it. However, I'm just weighing out our option. Like, siding or rolling with the Black Barks, a way more powerful entity, a way more powerful force, doesn't seem like a bad idea. I mean, well, well, if we're wearing our options, we could also consider sides. the Ramshoa. 
They got they control the water no. waves after all. I mean that is a no. Nah. Water the, equals the, power. How do we how, like the problem with the ramp show is like how do we you know how do I how do we side with them? We made them shit their pants and escape. You get Prince of Sibylina <laughs> to fuck the shockman. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I got in in with them. The fact that yeah, you can fuck yes. the shockman. <laughs> Wait, you know, what what I'm sorry. What did you say? I'm sorry. Just, the fact that we made them shit their pants is like a canonical <laughs> thing that actually happened. <laughs> 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 like, guys, 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 I think we burned that bridge. We made them shit their pants. Yeah, it's like, why did you make them shit their pants? I don't, think, I don't think we can go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual oh, thing that we fuck. did. I'm sorry, please continue. I don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> You're fine, that's funny. You're fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I also appreciate that we can talk it in canon because it actually fucking happened. Equipment can be looted. Mr. Campbell has vision. Yeah, you know, look, I, I like the Campbell's vision. So look, you know what we can do just for you, Sogashi? We can use... The black buck to our advantage. We can get their wares, you know? Like, look. It doesn't matter where we end up. But I think that we should make it connections with anyone. I agree. How about... Draco's making we, sense. How about we double cost... How about we use that information that we gained for, from that meeting... To the advantage of the Campbells, and that's get that stronghold into the Campbells' hand. Brilliant fucking idea. You can always talk. I to came up with that. You can always talk to the people who currently own the stronghold, and maybe get them to side with us against the Black Bar, or however you guys want to approach this. That is very true. I mean, we have the dossier. We have all this stuff. We just need someone to give this real cipher and a letter to the fucking Campbells, so we don't have to go there and get murdered. And out of character, if y'all want to just return the cipher to Mr. Campbell, tell him that, you know, ask him if we can be done with the whole gang thing and take off with uh, Agatha, I'm all for that too. As long as we leave on good terms with Mr. Campbell. <laughs> My character doesn't want to leave. Your My character is literally... I mean, character, oh, right? the, 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 the gang life does not leave you. Out of character. All right, so we gotta figure out a way to get this cipher to the Campbells. I'm gonna start writing up a letter in a cipher. All right, I'm gonna start making a new cipher. Okay. I know I'm a local. Write a letter in it. So in you want? So you want to Carl forge? Local. So you want to forge another cipher? No, I'm making my own cipher, like another cipher, for okay. myself. Okay. To give to the Campbells, like my cipher with the real cipher that the that we got from Gorin. It's just so I can encrypt a message to the Campbells. I see. It's writing a coded letter. Yeah, basically. I'm gonna start doing that. Uh, do you want me to type out what I'm writing in the letter to you? Yeah, just just give me the letter. Okay, I'll I'll start writing it up. Can you share it with us too? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna type it out in Arcadem's DMs, and then you guys can keep RPing. I mean, if you want to share it to us, we could give notes on anything you might need to. Check oh, out. okay. I mean, yeah. I can. I can. I can type it in general. In the fields of fire. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Guys, what? what uh, what's the plan then? What were y'all agreeing? On? Well, I mean, I think we agreed that we need to get this cipher to the Campbells. Yeah, I also think that, you know, we have the information of how this tower works. What we can do, right? You know, we can make a map of this place and give it to the Campbells instead. And then we'll have the entire layout to ourselves. How about we... Okay. Um... I think we, it's better if we just do this head-on. 
not not waste any more time. Um, do the mission. Uh, make them side with the Campbells, and that said, I think we. I think if we think of that much more simpler, s- simple, in a more simple way, I think it's the better option. Rather than have a whole convoluted mapping out, blah blah blah, sh- and then at the end we just make them shit their pants. I, yeah. I, I want. I want to. I want to do this straightforward. But doing the mission get. Like, why would we do the mission if we, unless we're trying to join Black Park? That's what I'm saying. So uh, we use that mission to to, um, and rather than you know making that fort in, into a into a uh, Campbell stronghold uh, into into a Black Park stronghold, make it a Campbell. Stronghold. That's what I said. That was my original original that's idea. Fine. That's what I'm suggesting. Okay. I just want to get this cipher to them. Okay. Yeah, we just wanted to communicate with Campbell first. Does anyone remember the name of the fucking thing? For some reason, it deleted it on my notes. What the? I think name of what? The tower. <laughs> For some uh, reason, I know it belongs to Shadro, but I don't know if it was Shadro. Yeah, it's the it's an that, abandoned that... Uh, it's an abandoned Shadro outpost. You weren't given a name of it. Can we use okay. Church Lady to get in touch with Quartermaster? To get in touch with Milo. Oh, Mr. Emirates girl. That could be an idea. <laughs> or we could have Carl Locus do it. I don't remember who Carl Locus is, but yes. <laughs> Brother, it's me. Our our local our local lame, remember? Oh. <laughs> Associate of uh, Princess Valona Ballon Fearin, remember? Okay. Um the So let's Okay, so let's let's boogie out of this place. Try to meet or try to meet with Campbell and try to do this. Secretly. Okay. Oh, look, mate. Look, look. We need to find a way to get into the camp balls without being noticed, or we need to find a way to get this cipher and this letter that I'm writing out right now to the camp balls without being seen. Sure. You do de- you do that. Make sure that there's. Well, we can figure out what we want to do from there. We can we can meet meet up, meet up with Mr. Campbell in a specific place, and actually execute this plan. Can you sneak us out, Cavity? I suppose so. Are we all... Are we all going together? They know there are six of us. A black bark. Let's Could split into tricky. two groups, then. Let's split into two groups. Or like I think... Of, I, or, or a lot of groups and have them try and not figure out what we're doing. They'll have to figure out... They'll have to decide who they want to follow. Yeah, but that pretty much means one of us ain't making it, and then it's kind of, I don't know, they're not just going to, I see them instantly killing that one person that they follow, or the two people that they follow. I mean, you guys do have group stealth. You have somebody who can do group stealth. Also that. So. Yeah, and, sure. I mean, I can, and if we roll signal or stealth, I can give her And as long as we can get in Mr. Campbell's front door, I don't see them attacking the hideout. Yeah, it's not like the Campbells don't have forces, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually curious how many forces they have because we only know of Campbell and Milo. <laughs> okay. So I would see. Su- have we seen guards oh, outside the Campbells? Guy. Yeah. <laughs> they oh, have okay. they have enforcers and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe make a history check to see if I remember how many people that we might have saw inside. Well, the Campbells are the smallest out of them, so they only have about. 20, 25 dudes. That's a nice number okay. of dudes, still. That's why they were hiring more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah sure. we're the plus five or six. Yep. All right. All right, this guy's is on, guys. Okay. Let's, let's go. Roll stealth. Jet Fields of Fire General, by the way. Is, um. Just, uh, are you going with them, Oliver? It depends on whether or not they come get me. 
Yeah, we're coming to get you. Our Draco we're, is, at least. The the boys arrive at the door while you're holding your girl. Bros before hoes, bro. Let's get going. Alright. Agatha, you'll be able to, I guess, make it home safe, yeah? Oh, I'll be fine. Go on. Please come back safe. And she'll give you a big old sloppy cheeks kiss right on the forehead. Gravity will pog. <laughs> Oliver faints. Oh my <laughs> Orca Oliver. will try to catch him. Orca catches Oliver as Agatha waves goodbye. Good luck! Be safe! You too. Um, thank you for music. You too, and thank you for the music, mate. Sagishi ah. slaps Oliver into existence. Oliver wakes Hello? up. Yes, let's go. Group style. You've got a Wait. nasty habit of doing that, huh, Oliver? Just baiting them. Uh, he's gonna get okay. us caught before Sagashi's drugs, too. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's uh, 25 uh, total. Fill me. Fill me 25. In nice. Let's nice, let's go. That's our boy. Trying to get back to Campbell. All right, rolling for people following you. 25. Oh, my lead, fellas. Also, let's make a perception to see if we're being followed. Well, we lose uh, them. I wait, mean. what? I don't see any rolls. That's because I'm doing... Yeah, the chat rolls for me, too. Only. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll... I'll, I'll I guess we're going to check in case we get followed. Yeah, we'd like to make a reception check. Sure. Ten. I don't think in a city I can use survival to cover our tracks. No. Fifteen. Okay. You do not see oh, no. anyone. Seventeen. Sorry. Seventeen. You do not see anyone following you. You do not. See... I roll. You even do I roll? See... You do not oh. see anyone following you. Yeah. All right. I think it's oh. clear, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, unless they roll really high. Yeah, it's like, a, uh, but like a nat 20 covers all bases. Probably. Really? Hopefully. A nat 20 covers our bases? I don't know. Probably. I, I would not count on that. <laughs> Copium, cope. We're still only level 2 compared Copium. to who knows. Cope, cope, Copium, cope, 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 Copium. Level 3 or 4. Well, we've, yeah. Season level 3 or 4. Yeah. I mean, the question is, would we have martial checks when we get there to see if they're watching? I mean, we could always make an option when we get there. Oh, home sweet home, this map is giving me comfort. Yeah, same! Remember that time when we baked shit cookies here in this kitchen? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I immediately go for the go for the bar. Yeah, and, get a good tone, boy. And get some water. Hold on, I'm trying to find. Oh, there he is. Keep flying. Skirt. Milo will approach you. Oh, you're finally back. Got anything to Milo. report? Make sure no. no weren't followed. Everybody out. Oliver's gonna hug Milo. What the fuck? He'll... I got a lot to report. Make sure weren't followed. He'll, he'll tap your back with his hand. All right, Glomping that's enough. Glomping Milo. Boy, are we glad to see you, Mr. Milo. It's been rough, man. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Stop. Hey, give me some space. Hey. We just really missed you, mate. It's only been like we a few days. Almost fucked. It. We almost like so messed up longer. big time. Okay, I don't think slow, we slow, almost slow, messed slow, up. Slow, slow down, slow down. Explain it to me, I. All right. Do you want the full story or the short story? I want the right story. Tell me the whole All thing. All right. I I will explain everything that happened. All right. Storyline. He will give you a slow blink. An incredulous stare and say, So, just to reiterate, you got the cipher, went to the Blackboard Mercenary Company, gave them the fake cipher, 
got a job to go do a job for them, escaped them following you, came here, turning in the real cipher, and then telling me about all this. Yep. Yep. And then we hand him the dossier. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. well I opportunity. I have the dossier, by the way. I took it. And so I'll kind of show him the dossier a little bit. I hand him the real cipher. He'll kind of hold both Wait. those things in his hand and he'll just go, Well, that's fucking brilliant right there. Wait, did we do good? Oh, yeah. You yeah. got the you got the cipher. You you were able to see. You, you don't realize it, do you? Like you took you took someone from the Rem show and turned them into the Black Barn. Eventually, that's going to get out, and they're going to think they're the ones that had something to do with it. You brought me the cipher, mm. gave them the wrong cipher, so now they're going to try and do who knows what to the Rem Showa. You're going to get the two of them to fight. Our enemies will be distracted. You did a great this, job. Gold stars, top marks. Happened. Orca will be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dragon is fucking crying, by the way. Well, spread oh, me okay. on some cake and call me frosting, boys. We did. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough with all the emotions and the kinks, all right? Just calm down. You did good. I'm going to tell the Don about it. Just take a few days off here. Maybe have a nice, comfortable, long rest. Maybe get your level up. And then um, and then I'll probably have some more news for you, all right? All right. Um, uh, hey. Wait, Milo. Yeah. yeah. I kissed a girl. Oh my, yes. All right, I'm going to go to the dome now. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You have your chance. I'm gone. Bye. Please. Milo, I kissed a girl. All right, I'm out of here. You put him on cool now, and I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait till tomorrow. It hurts. Oh my god. Milo, I kissed a girl. Uh, okay. Why did you fucking say that? Why did, why, why, did he, why did he become dad? I don't know why he's dead. Please, I, yeah, I don't know why you guys are like being emotional. Like, I don't know. Like, what the fuck dude, I'm so glad we're back, dude. I thought you we were going to die. I thought we were going to die. Now it's time to cook a cake. <laughs> yeah, time to celebrate, guys. Mission well done. Um, I go, I go to Sin, and I say, Can I, uh, have a quick bump, pretty please? Is Milo actually gone? He's just, he's talking to the Dawn right now. He doesn't want to deal with your bullshit right now. He'll be back I'm okay. Alright, I'm gonna go to Emmerich then. Okay. I mean, I don't care if you smoke, just don't let some Nancy. <laughs> what, do you hey, think big guy, guy can get water. Do you think the guys would be mad that I'm taking a quick or bump? You we'll know serve up a glass of water and get back for, to uh, cooking stir fry. Meanwhile, Thank outside. Thank you kindly, big guy. Meanwhile, outside. Yep, what can I do for you? I've got some fun stuff to show you, mate. All right, and what's that? I'll show him the stuff that I stole. Oh, nice. I'll get that fenced for you. Thank you, mate. Oh. Yeah. I do, ooh. The Don, Don takes a cut, though. 10%. That's fine. I don't care. All right. And he, hey, will, can... he will give you some gold that he's going to fence for you, so you go and get 10, uh, 90% of that wealth. 90%? Yeah. Uh, uh, let me... So, I don't know how to do this. It was 404. Uh, God, 10% of that is just minus 40. So you get 364 gold. 364. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, and then Sagashi will oh, fucking oh, no um, clip through the fucking floor and appear in front of him. Uh, yes? Just to be canical, I'll give him the other half, because I was helping still. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. My stuff is fucking up right now. I don't know what happened. I think you're muted, sir. Opa, sorry. Uh, yeah, Sagushi goes and, uh, fucking, what's it called? Um, pulls out the gold bar and says, here, I have a thingy. Oh, man. An official mint and everything. Oh, that's 500 gold I... pieces right there. That's like... What? Oh, wow. What? 
Let's go, Sagashi. Go. Man, go. Go you just say fucking what, mate? That's like 25 grams, pounds, kilograms of drugs. It's fucking crazy. We are not using it on <laughs> drugs. Do you have any idea how many oh, drugs you can buy with that? That'd be crazy. Yeah, I love that measurement. <laughs> Dude, that's like to to poison people. Then we can buy it on drugs. <laughs> Twenty-five kilograms of the uh, of uh, some good shit. Kil kil kilograms, yeah. That's a, that's the measurement that I'm using. So we got five hundred so, gold from that, right? I got five hundred gold. Yeah, yeah, five five hundred gold from the gold bar. Yes, and then three hundred sixty okay. for the fenced goods. I'm just trying to. Put it all on the party gold. All right, there you go. Do they do they take ten oh. percent from the gold bar? From the gold, no, that's a currency exchange. Okay. The Don takes ten percent from fenced goods. Yeah, that's stolen. Because he has to sell it for you. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I don't know if it matters, but I got them from Nobles. No, no, don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's against the rules. All right. Don't tell me where you got it. <laughs> All right. That way, in case I get captured, I can't tell them anything. Okay. Plausible deniability. I'm gonna be honest. I don't fucking remember. Yeah, we're all magic. Yeah, Good, because I don't remember either. Good. Excellent. Well, uh, did you want to buy something or? Um. Yeah. Um. Do you have like? I have this short boy, You know, I want uh -huh. something better. Uh huh. Well, tell you what, why don't you get some rest? You look kind of tired. And I think in the morning, yeah, you'll have a clearer tired. head and a better understanding of your abilities, and maybe buying something then would be better. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> hey, I, I just want to say... In the sky, level the fuck up first! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I just want to say, Emery, thank you. Uh, you you're welcome. <laughs> Dragon's gonna fucking go to sleep. He's stressed out. Yes, let's rest up. I'll give him ten. I'll give. I'll hand him ten gold and say, "Here, buy your girl something nice." Oh uh, well, thank you. I'm... Welcome. You have a good one, man. <laughs> I call Todd bunk on the bunk bed. I'll be getting my own fucking room. Don't come in here. <clears throat> we gotta sleep together. It's the I'm locking. Rules. I'm, I'm locking the door. Who's bunking with me, boys? Who's <laughs> bunking? Orca with will me. leave. Orca will leave everybody's plate of food out the side the door of their room. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. Wait, wait. Oliver grabs the food, and puts it on this table. Mind if I join? What a day, huh? Depends. Orca Are you a try. snitch? <laughs> oh! No. Oh, God. <laughs> please, oh, please. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure! Not innocent, <laughs> impressionable Orca, dude. <laughs> My pleasure, please, come back, shut down the door. Orca, first time, please be gentle. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> All right. Let that okay. linger in the air. Sin, would you like to do anything other than creepily stand in the hallway? No, oh, I, I was mad at my money. Why she? We. Oliver knocks on the wall. Said to bed. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> You're muted. You We're stupid. neighbors, Pinko. We're muted. neighbors. <laughs> what, what do you want? Good night, mate. You know what? I'm unlocking the door and moving rooms. <laughs> Are you still there? Hello? <laughs> Draco! <laughs> Maybe he fell asleep. <laughs> Is it odd none of us took the big beds? <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't look. Uh, just saw the first one, but first bed makes sense. Okay! So. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second. <laughs> <laughs> There's many ways you could you could adjust this fine medicine. Oh, well, yeah. you could you you could shove it through your nose, smoke it, 
blue fit, any crevice you can put, <laughs> it will work. Orca like smoke. Well, I don't think it's it's uh, it's wise to smoke here, but um, I would suggest uh, just uh, okay. Let, let me teach you. Come here. Come here. Come to this desk. As he grabs like okay. a knife, uh, grabs a knife, gets gets a bit of powder. Uh, uh, like, see, this is called the line. As he chops up. <laughs> Orca will carefully pay attention to how he dices it and chops it <laughs> and powders it. Yes. Just like cooking. This is a science. Um, as he presents it to a nice clean line. Please, do it yourself. As he gives, gives like, a, uh, like, a, like a little bit of him to practice. Orca will practice chopping it and present his little line to Sagashi to judge. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Let me roll. We're getting roll like a one D ten or something. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all 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 right. Hold on, hold on. What are you actually doing? What drugs? He's trying, uh, poppy. Okay, a line of poppies. To, okay, so poppy powder. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw, Orca. Okay. Can I help him <laughs> or something? No, 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 no. He's he's. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's about right. Damn. <laughs> All right, Orca. Orca just snorts the entire line in one fell swoop. Um, unfortunately, you did not have enough time to tell him that that he was meant to do that slowly, not all at once, that quickly. Jeez. Orca's Orca's eyes dilate, <laughs> and uh, he is gone. Oh God! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Let's, this, oh. Oh, I want to like, like, grab him and like put him in, put him in bed, like this bed. <laughs> All right, get him nice or and tucked in, bro. <laughs> tucked in. I want to like go, go like outside a little bit, um, sneakily, like sneakily come, like sneakily, like open and close the door, and says like, do you, uh, you see, do you guys have... creepily standing in the hallway again. Like, why is he just standing there? I oh, tap on Sid's, Sid's shoulder. I was knocking on the door. Uh, what up? Uh, do you have like water? By any oh no, you're not the right person to ask. I go to <laughs> Cavity. The door, the door opens as what? as Melico as Cavity and what? Oliver are discussing what. Hey, somebody else is not. You just moved. Sin was not knocking. He was about to say something. Yeah. Echo, take take turns. Yo, uh, Sin, I what's up? If we, I promise I finished that story if we lived. Let me know when you want to hear it. I mean, we we have time right now, no? Well, uh, there's a pressing... Can I, I need water. Do I, do, re, Kevin, do you have water by any chance? Bedside water, please. Well, spin me around and call me Rosie. I know just the place. Follow me, boy. No, no, please. It's, it's, like, yeah. Just it's the bathroom. run. Did There's you a lot just, of water in did, here. Did you just say oh. white boy? No. Did, no. Did, 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 uh, did anybody no. say Did he say that? Did, like, I'm losing my mind. Did, you are, you are dude, losing your mind. Dude, I, grab <laughs> <laughs> I grab a bucket. I grab a bucket. Grab it with some water. I swear God, he said it, dude. I no, he didn't. I'm he checking didn't. the I'm checking the bot. I'm checking the fucking bot. <laughs> There's no way. No, I didn't say. <laughs> if I, sorry, that's not what I, I meant to say, but that's not definitely what I said. And yeah, you walk back in, a... Orca is standing on the bed picking flowers. <laughs> oh shit, dude, he's gone. He's he's got a bed. I wanna I wanna slowly like like IV drip him some water to stabilize him a little bit. <laughs> like put put like a big sippy cup to for him to slowly drink water to uh you know. I wouldn't even notice he does it. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> nullify, nullify the, 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 the drug. Because it took too much. First timer. And I see... I, I want to grab uh, the uh, the leftover and take like a small bump. Like a small pick-me-up bump. Of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, of, uh, of Poppy. Like, uh, like, you know. Yeah, it's a little, little pick-me-up. Little... Yeah. My big, get, big get nostrils the backfired. <laughs> 
and I want to go leave him in this room, go to the other room, <laughs> and use that to sleep. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sin, you gonna bunk with us? Okay, and then... Alright, go ahead, you three. Might need a bigger room. No, oh, I was just here to if... finish that store if you wanted to hear it, or if you wanted to grab the group, whole group to hear it, whatever you guys want to hear it. I mean, I think we're all going to bed, but... We're just I mean, I can all tell over. it in the morning if you guys like, if you want to go rest. You're, you're muted, Melancholy. Oh, sorry. It's uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to tell the story. I guess it might be better if we all clear our heads first. Yeah, it's probably better. Today was pretty better. stressful. I don't want to stress you guys out more with it right now. It's anyway, the story that bad. Oh, it's... Well, it depends on how you look at it. Oh. But anyway, I'll let you guys get some rest. Good night. Yeah, you rest as well. See you. Talk to you on the morning. How did he do that? I don't know. He's the. He might have slipped through a crack somewhere. He's an awful small fella. He sadly unnerves me. His name is kind of crazy too. He calls himself Sin. His, apparently, his parents named him that. What a guy. What a fella. Which bunk are you taking? Top bunk. I already called it, mate. Uh, um, I don't say mate. I already called it boy. 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 <laughs> uh, sorry, force a habit. Whatever. I'm going to bed. Good night, buddy. Uh, Good night, Good night friend. <laughs> oh. Sure, we can be friends. Are, are we not friends? I mean, I don't know. My friends usually don't last that long. So I don't call anybody my friend usually, but we could be friends. Uh, noted. Good, good night. Good night, Oliver. After about two hours of standing here picking flowers, Orca will walk over to the edge of the carpet, lay down and cover himself with the carpet and go to sleep. Like he's still lost in La La Land going to sleep in his little shed. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And so, everyone goes to sleep. And thus... Night turns to morning. All right, it is now the morning. Level up, question mark? Yeah, I'm lining you guys up. All right, let's do it. First, we're gonna start with you, Sin. Let me get open my uh, sheets and stuff here. Oh, level three. Let's go. This is a big level. Oh. I need to look at the freaking stuff now. We get, we get arch types and so much cool stuff. Yeah, I, I, I need a fucking. Where's the? <clears throat> All right, Sin. Uh, I can. Let me link it for you. Sin, you're up. I need, to see, what I, I need to see what I get at level three. Sin, you're up first. I need you to roll for me a um, a D eight minimum five whenever you can. That's right. And five. I don't know okay. if that worked right. That does. Okay, level three. Yeah, I'm just not rolling gold. <clears throat> five. This level, you gain skill focus. Heavy armor training and exotic weapon training. Your sneak attack dice also improves to 2d6. Please tell me, what would you like to spend your skill focus on? 
That's expertise. I'm trying to remember what skill focus is. Skill focus is like tricks and masteries for skills. Yeah, if you look under the skills that you want, it'll actually tell you what the skill focus does. It's it's different depending on the skill. I'll have to get back to you. Okay. What rogue archetype would you like to be? I have to get back to you. <laughs> Something tells me people didn't do their homework. Yeah, I haven't looked at level 3 stuff yet. Okay. You can well, do me. I, I did my homework. All right, well, I'm going to put you up here because you're not done yet. Yeah. Sagashi. Yes, so I want to... Hold on, I need you to roll me a d8, minimum 5. Sure. Sure. Uh, 1d8, roll 8, minimum 5? What do you mean by minimum 5? M-I-N 5. M-I... Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, that does not work. Okay, so you see M -I what... I... So you see what Sin did? 1d8, min 5? Copy, paste that, but put slash, roll, space in front of it. Okay. Sure. Hold on a second. Never used sound group before for this campaign. Uh, roll. Okay. Ooh, eight. Very nice. Yay. All right, this level you gain spell selection and your magic mutation, which works differently because you're already magically mutated. Okay. All right. Uh, so... And you also gain access to second level spells. And go ahead, what were you saying? Yeah, and uh, do I gain... Uh, yes, and I also gain access to the cleric archetype, right? Yep, which which kind of cleric would you like to be? Uh, after much thinking and prodding, I want to pick militant. Militant oh. cleric, an excellent choice. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, militant, so cool. Militant cleric grants you divine grasp, combat commitment, and focused warfare. For chat's sake, divine grasp means that he can use his wisdom modifier instead of his strength modifier to determine half for weapons that he wields. And in addition, he adds half of his exposure as radiant damage to attacks made with weapons. Wait, that's the old one. It looks like we haven't updated this yet. But I'm evil aligned, so I'm going to get current hit points. Um, it's, so he gets to use his wisdom attribute, of as normal statistics for his weapons. Um, your evil alliance, you'll deal necrotic damage with your weapon, uh, oh. e equal to your current temporary hit points. If you defeat an enemy with a weapon or melee spell, you gain temporary hit points equal to your wisdom modifier that stacks with faith over flesh. <clears throat> you also gain the weapon master sub roll, which grants you focused warfare and combat commitment. Focused Warfare means that you gain the equipment uh, the equipment trick of a weapon of your choice, or uh, weapon expertise, which is an advancement in that. And you also gain an advanced fighting style. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, what would you like to put your weapon trick into? I presume quarterstaff? Um, no. Okay, what would you like to put it into? Uh... So, I would like to uh, use it on uh, a, uh, what is it called? A Morning Star. Morning Star? I think it's the Morning Star. Excellent choice. <clears throat> yes. All right. And what would you like your fighting style to be? Uh, so, I can pick any fighting style, right? Uh, you can, uh, yeah. Except for, except for the, the class one, or the race ones? Except for the racial ones, yes. Yeah. Just let me... There's also me... the... Um, the advanced fighting style for Morningstar specifically, if you're interested, which is Flare's Delight. Yeah, I want to do that. Flare's Delight. Yeah. I want to, I was trying to find the one where it's the Morningstar one. Okay, Flare's Delight, yeah. Morningstar, you got it. Uh, let me... Yep, yeah, okay, you're looked in there, and then you have second level spells, so you have some spell choices to make, because you also gain <clears throat> a spell selection this level. Okay. Um... The, th my, the my only problem was is that like what what are the spell so like what what are the allowed spells? That's my my only. You problem. can pick any cleric spell. Um, even like any D official D and D like listed ones. Yes, only the official ones. If you do some weird shit, it's a case by case basis. Although you should probably be prepared for no. Okay, so I want um, uh, so level two, right? 
Level 2 spells. I mean, you could pick another level 1 spell, but then you wouldn't have any second level spells. Okay. So after uh, many thoughtful considerations, I would want to um, gain the spell Locate Object. That's a fine spell. Hmm. Especially for this campaign. So look it up. Mm, 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 mm. No, okay. they'll they'll okay. be useful somewhere. Okay. Wait, it's that. I've never heard of that. Okay, let me go into the spells here and see if they've got these spells made. Oh, that's cool. I'm just looking up that spelling. Okay, it's not in this one. Oh, locate. did you guys hear anything that I said, or no? About locate object? <coughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, we heard you. I added it to okay. your sheet. You now have it added to your character sheet for you. Yeah, smile. Alright, you're good to go then. You are done. Uh, let me go back to Sin. You've chosen the silencer. And crossbow and deception. So deception trick, and you chose silencer. Okay. Yep. Archetype. And then hand crossbow for the exotic weapon training. Okay. That gives you silencing strike and magic sense. Silencing strike allows you to mute casters, and magic sense allows you to detect exposure. Yep, fuck them casters. <laughs> fuck them kids. All right, next up is you, Oliver. Please roll me a D8, minimum five. Okay. This level you gain Battle Hardened and Skill Focus. What would you like to focus your skill in? Medicine. Medicine, you say? Yeah. Hmm. How interesting. Very well. Medicine it is. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and what kind of monk are you going to be? Uh, so I decided on wandering one. Yep. And so right now I'm in inner turmoil between either protecting myself or protecting my allies. The current thing I'm building for was probably going to do quarter staff. Yeah. And then use my protection fighting style to, I guess, protect people from attacks. But then I saw something, uh, scimitars, and I thought, hey, if I switch to two weapon fighting, those would be pretty cool. But I don't know which one to do. But I guess a question I have is, can you non-lethal with a deadly weapon? You can non-lethal with um, uh, any melee weapon. Unless there's a specific thing that says you can't. Then can I, I guess, get an explanation on how the way of glass fighting style works? Uh, sure. I keep forgetting you're an elf. App elf. Um... What is it that you're confused about on it specifically? How the AR, the temporary AR works. Okay, so the damage of scimitar is considered a D8. That's the first thing. Whenever you would critically hit, you deal the extra damage dealt by the deadly property is added as temporary arm rating for one round. So that functions as uh, as if it was a fighting style use. Or not fighting style, excuse me. Fighting spirit use. So it's just temporary armor rating. So let's say you rolled max, right? You rolled a D8. So that means you have eight temporary AR that lasts for one round when you critically hit. It's very that's good. on top of what I get from the yeah. light armor, right? Yeah, that's on top of everything else. And then I guess my question, I don't know if I can ask this, but I guess then what's the... I'm trying to understand, I guess, whether or not it's better to have 
more AR or a higher AC since Kata of Defense, I think, gives me plus two AC. And then I'll have, I think, 17 AC with my armor. Well, I'll actually walk you through this real quick. Um, so, no, let, me, let, me, let me walk you through it. Let me walk through all the different pieces here. Um, so if you choose, uh, hold on, let me, let me get both these open so I can like walk you through it here. <clears throat> Why is quarterstaff not under the list of monk weapons? Weird. That's... I think it's simple melee weapons. Oh, that's right. It's simple. Okay. That's why. Sorry. I, uh. Did a little, a little uh oh there. Oh my, my tunes turned off. Give me this. Okay, buddy. So let me let me walk you through the different pieces here. So way of glass being the fighting style that you would take is an elven only one, which gives you some extra armor rating, but it is based off of critical hits. So. There is a lot of variance there, but if you eventually get the mastery, you'll have the increased critical threshold. And there are, of course, ways to augment critical hits and things like that. Way of Glass is good because it can generate you a lot of temporary armor rating without having to use withstanding stance. So let me, let me give you a scenario, right? You're fighting, you're surrounded by like three enemies, and you have Way of Glass. So... If you don't have the quarter staff, then the way that you'll be able to do this is you'll attack these enemies, and if you critical hit, and if you roll decent on your deadly damage, then that means that you don't have to spend a bonus action to use withstanding stance, and you can instead use a bonus action to attack a bunch more times, right? And since you're going mm -hmm. wandering one, that means you get to attack with the scimitars when you use that. Which is very cool. Um, if you go quarterstaff, which gives you caught of defense, plus two more to AC is very is very important because it gives you the increased ability to not only avoid damage completely, but it also gives you crush as well, which allows you to deal with armor. Whereas scimitars have have hack if you have the trick, which lets you deal with shields there's also way of the wanderer which is when you get a critical hit with a quarter staff it increases its heft by one and it gives you uh, essentially a stacking ac bonus as you fight based off crits as well if you want my personal opinion on how you would want to use these things together i think that if you wanted to it's going to come down to if you want to deal damage or be more defensive. Because I do think that the scimitars are going to overall cause more damage over time. Just because their their die is, is bigger. And they have deadly. But at the same time, the quarterstaff is going to be a more reliable method. You're, you're basically, do you want to have a higher medium or high lows and high highs? You kind of get what I mean? Yeah. Because critting critting with a quarter staff is not going to be nearly as good as critting with your scimitars with that fighting style. It really depends on the fighting style you choose. Like you could also choose Myrmidon, which would give you bonus damage as well, but it's probably better to go way of glass because it's just a it's a one point five damage increase across the board, which is pretty good. So it's really how it honestly this is an aesthetic choice, in my opinion. Both are perfectly fine. Like, they're both great. So, it's ha it's a, it comes down to what is it that you want to do. Uh, then I guess, uh, and then Kata of Defense allows me to use protection, right? Since the quarter staff is, acts like a shield. Say again? Uh, the quarter, the kata of defense allows me to use protection. Yeah, which is better for teammates. And uh, wait, you said you were a half elf. Yeah. Oh, you can't take way of glass anyway. 
Well, fair. Then I guess it's quarter staff. There you go. And, and then, uh, I guess for fighting style, I guess and then I also have a question about the versatility of uh, Way of Stone and how... Way of Stone is also Elf. Yeah. You're half yeah, Elf. Then I guess, yeah, then Way of Wanderer then. Since now, you said that Way of AC bonus. Yo, so Way of Wanderer is actually very similar to the build that you wanted to do with like a scaling crit bonus. Um, so you've got stuff like increasing heft, which gives you more crush, and then it also gives you the ability to uh, reaction, give yourself AC to block stuff based off your weapon's heft. So it's a very defensive fighting style. And it acts as a shield, so you could also add shield bonuses as well, which is something that um, hasn't really been explored super intricately yet, is that... Because your uh, quarterstaff acts as a shield, that means that you can get shield-based abilities that act with it, right? Yeah. Which is pretty nice. Like, for example, uh, hold on, let me let me go look around real quick. Uh... Hmm. I fucking love this song. It's so nice and calming. Let's see. <clears throat> That's cut and shield. Oh, never mind. So that won't work with the other fighting styles, but there's a lot of stuff you can get to it. Like, you can get the um, the shield feat and focus on that, which is very cool. You know, so there's lots of stuff there that you can kind of combo with that. Um, there's also, if I may be so bold, one other fighting style that you do get to use a scimitar with, and that is the gate style, which uses spear and scimitar. And both of those are monk weapons. And what's really cool about that is that you add the heft of your spear and scimitar together to combine the effects of both. So you reduce armor rating based off current bleed. And then also to determine the um, whether or not the cut property can be applied to a target. So gate style is really cool if you want to stack bleed and start getting the cut damage of your scimitar like right away. And because you're a monk and you're the wandering one and those are monk weapons then you get the ability to really double down on those attacks as well. So gate styles are something to consider if you really wanted to do something cool. Um, but I think your quarter staff build is fine. It's it's absolutely fine. Like you can use protection with it. You get the kata, so you get more AC. And if you choose way of the wanderer as your fighting style, well then that's just more scaling, scaling effects. So all very good. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stick with the quarter staff. Okay. And then along, I guess along with that, I have a question about how long it takes to retrain a kit proficiency. Uh, four days. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me go ahead and give you your shit. So you are choosing Way of the Wanderer, yes? Yep. Or Wandering One, excuse me. Gives you Zen weapon training. <coughs> Combat commitment. And focused warfare. Got the trick. Applying that to quarter staff, and I will get you the fighting style. Sorry about that. Alright, you're locked in, Oliver. Yep. Good to go. All right, Cavity. Roll for me, 1d8, minimum 5. Okay, slash roll, 1d8, minimum 5. Yes, Sid. Heavy armor training is heavy is proficiency in heavy armor. It's not working. Right, thank you for the clarification. That's what I figured, but I just want have to, to have sure. a space after the word roll before the one. Oh, okay. okay. 
thank you. No problem. Yes, eight. Bam. Finally, I get juice. All right, you get spell selection, magic mutation, which you ignore because you're a abomination. Um, An animal. Yeah. All right, what kind of warlock are you choosing? Okay, so. Back to Fate is pretty tempting, but I'm going to go with Pact of Secrets. Pact of Secrets. All right, Pact of Secrets gives you lost spells, so you gain two spells that you can choose that are not from Warlock, and then you get Dark Revelations. Whenever a creature would critically hit with an attack that you can see, you trigger Heretic's Hunger. Boop. Yeah. Uh, what was your edict that you chose? Revelation. Oh, okay. The perception and reading one. Okay. <clears throat> what level two spells would you like? So it's going to be a little tricky because I have a lot of options, but what I'm thinking on for my the base two that I get for being a warlock, not the lost spell ones. I think I'm going to take borrowed knowledge and suggestion. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I did not hear what you said. Can you say that one more time for me, please? Borrowed knowledge. Bottle of knowledge? Bo borrowed knowledge. Oh, borrowed knowledge. Borrowed. Yeah. And suggestion. What does this shit do again? Which one? Well, borrowed knowledge lets you get a skill, right? Yeah, and I cast it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, there and you suggestion go. is just like a normal. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suggestion's fine. I'll... Cool, cool. And uh, for my lost spells, I want to get magic missile. Yep. And augury from the cleric. Oh, list. Excellent choices. Thank you. I'm not still 100% sure if I want to take suggestions. I'm, I might uh, DM you about it later, but I'm sticking with it for now. I think suggestions a fine spell with the build you're going for. Uh, thank you. Um, okay. What's up, Saga? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, no, sorry. Just like, like, uh, let everybody just finish, then, then I'll, then I'll ask. Okay. Pardon. Orca, you're up next. Roll me one d ten, minimum six. Here we go. Again. You get battle hardened and skill focused. Uh, what would you like to put your skill focus into? Uh, nature, please. Nature. Gonna be picking those herbs eventually. Okay, you got it. And what kind of ranger would you like to be? Warden of the North. Makes sense because I came from the North. Works for me. Warden of the North gives you make them bleed. So for chat's purposes, that increases the critical threshold of the weapon he has proficiency in by one. Combat commitment and advanced fighting style and focused warfare, which is a weapon trick. And what weapon are you putting that trick into? The Halbred. Halbred, okay. So now you get Thrusting Strikes, and what would you like your fighting style to be? Whirlwind, please. Okay. Wham, 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 wham. 
Whenever I attack, you may attack an additional <coughs> enemy with your within your attack range. Bracing Strike is now a triggered action. Extra attacks made in this way cannot be on the same target that triggered them. Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. You are locked in. Thank you. And then finally, Dragon. Roll me 1d8, minimum 5. Okay. Ah, oh, of course. Yikes. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Skill focus. Exotic weapon training and heavy armor training is what you get this level. Sneak attack increases to 2d6. Please tell me, what would you like your uh, skill focus to be in? Okay, so I have a question about my original skill focus, because I'm not so sure what it's in. I believe it's stealth, right? That's my skill focus? I, I don't know. It's your character. Did you choose that? No, I, I, I'm I very new to this, so I, I don't think I did. Well, so it would be stealth, right? Let me just look. Okay. I, I don't really remember. What's your race, human Truman? Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Let's see. I'm very new to this. I'm sorry. You have to apologize. You're fine. So you have expertise in stealth, which is represented on your sheet. Yeah. Okay. So that's expertise. Then rogue. Skip it about. Bam. Okay, so skill aptitude, this is where you get your skill focus. So third level is when you get your first step towards it. So you don't have skill focus in anything, but you can choose stealth if you'd like. Do you know okay. what skill focus and stealth does? No. Okay, so skill focus and stealth allows you to make stealth rolls for the party. It's a thing that um, Cavity does. Okay. Uh, can I know his bonus? Because I have expertise, right? Does that give me advantage as well, right? On if basic on basic versions of those checks, yes. Okay. I I'm gonna take it, yeah. I'll take the skill focus into stealth just for the advantage on stealth. It it works with uh yeah, makes my sense to me. archetype. Yeah, makes it works with my to archetype too. Alright, cool. You got your skill focus, boom boom bam. Uh what type of rogue would you like to be? So I'm going to play Seeker. Okay, Seeker, very good. Excellent choice. That does count for range, right? The isolation? Or is it just melee? No, it says melee attack. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Seeker is a melee rogue, not a ranged rogue. Okay. Did you want to make a different choice? I thought there was a ranged version of that, but no. Uh, I'm, well, I'm doing mean, it for the, the assassin <laughs> one, right? To be, to be clear, you can still sneak attack with a ranged weapon up to 30 feet. Like, that's still possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just doing it for the assassin, because I'm building with bows. Because mm -hmm. I, I can still use the assassinate, right? Yeah, all that still works. Okay. Cool. It's just that isolation specifically only triggers if it's a melee attack. <coughs> okay, so... Uh, I mean, there are no creatures... Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, here we go. I wasn't reading it properly. Alright, you are all juiced up. Looks good to me. Don't think there's anything we're missing. Excellent. Alright, you are leveled up. Congratulations, guys. You are now level 3. Let's go. Uh, question. Yep. So, do I get two level, uh, level two spells or one level one spell? Uh, you get, I believe you get two spell selections this level. So you get, you could choose two second level spells if you wanted. Okay. Um. Yeah. Because I only, I only chose to get locate object. I want to also get prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Just, to, yeah, just in case. Excellent shit hits choice. The we have We're healing. Finally, we need to check some healing options. Uh, <laughs> as a reminder, because this mistake is made a lot by players, you do know that that is not an in combat spell, right? 
Yeah, it that's takes ten, ten minutes. It takes ten minutes to cast that spell. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Never mind. There What's it is. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens every time. It happens every time. Okay, yeah. what what else? Yeah, what I else forgot. Would you like? I forgot it was in again. Uh, so question about zone of truth. Uh, yeah. Would they notice the zone, magical zone, uh, or is they, it can it could be hidden? So they would need to have proper training. So oh. if you try to use it on somebody who has Arcana trained, they have a very much higher chance of noticing what's going on than somebody who doesn't. Now, if somebody's trying to lie and they realize they can't, they could, of course, follow logic to say something's making me do this, right? But if they don't have proper training, they might think a demon's nearby or they might think you're a demon. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's your ability to use that without them knowing what's actually happening is dependent on the character that you're trying to use it on. If it's a random country bumpkin, he probably has no idea why he's telling the truth. Maybe he's just panicked. If you try to use it on an, an arcanist, like a trained magic user, they'll probably know something's up. They might even recognize the spell. So. Okay. Use uh, at your discretion. So, uh, yeah, so, um, let's see, just one second. Lesser... Restoration. Lesser no, Restoration no. is a very good spell. Let's see, one second. Let me just check what Le Lesser Restoration does. Uh, 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 no. I let's let's like a good healing spell. On level two. Let's is there see. another healing spell? Let me go double check. I don't think so. I think Lesseration is your healing spell for a second level, because it removes really bad afflictions. Can you take one second level and one first level? Yeah, you could just take a first. You don't have to take... You could take Cure level. Wounds. <coughs> yeah, true. Cure Wounds. Yep. Cure Wounds? I'll get, I'll, uh, yeah. Healing Word is an option? Yeah, Healing no? healing Word and cure, uh, cure Wounds is both... You have the... Uh, healing Word is ranged and Cure Wounds is... Yeah, yeah. Me. Yeah, sure, yeah. Healing Word. Healing, healing word. word, then. Healing Word is a fine choice. That's a workhorse spell right there. Yeah, it's really good. There you go. Okay, and right. uh, I want to know um, if... Can you show me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if the the thing that I picked, am I proficient in? The th or or, or the, would that pose a problem? Uh, the war, the what's it called? The um, Morningstar? Morningstar, yeah. Yeah, you're proficient in Morningstar. Okay, because of the thing I'm proficient on? Okay, good. Well, no, you're just... Clerics get Morningstar. That's one of their weapons. Okay, cool. Yeah. You get the bonking weapons. The, the bonk Bonk. You're good. You get the bonk weapons. That's it. That, all right, that's so good enough. You're all locked in, baby. Lock, Wait, uh, let's go. Efficiency in heavy armor? At third level, yep. What the fuck? Why? I mean, too bad because I don't have any because you're a mundane, use. and there are builds for heavy armor rogues. That exist. I'm not playing that. I'm, playing that. I'm, not I'm just like, what the fuck? Well, when the funny did I get thing that? Is, the funny thing is, is that there are builds for heavy armor rogues that are just as sneaky as you are. In plate. It's fucking oh. sick. Oh, yeah. Don't dash it till you try it. Hey, got him. If only I had the strength to wear it. If God. I only had a brain... <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a big pee, and then we'll get you guys started. Be right back. Oh, yeah. Yippee! Sure. I'm For actually boys. so fucking happy right now. Yeah, bro, I'm so glad we're alive, man. Uh, by the way, uh, does anyone know if I can wield two rapiers in both of my hands and use them like in my daggers? Uh, you if can. they have the dual popper, dude, or like uh, twin, twin popper or whatever Maybe it's called. You can just use a bonus action attack. Like yeah, I can hand. do that, right? You got bonus action offhand, but it just takes your bonus action. Yeah, I know. I just want to switch from daggers to rapier because they do more damage. Yeah, I'm doing that with short swords currently. <laughs> uh, are short swords two handed? Good. Which one does more, rapier or short sword? I think they do the same damage, but they probably have different stuff. I'd have to look at that though. Short yeah. sword is one d six. Rapier is a uh, one d eight. Okay. Oh, rapier, well, I was I was gonna do rapier anyway because. Fits with my character. He's like this that, British uh, man. I don't know if that depends on heft or anything like that. Oh yeah, you need to have the strength for it in Arcadian system. Oh, I do. What's its half? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I don't. Know. 
Rapier is three heft and short swords have two. So, how much strength would I need to wield it? So, for uh, to hold to hold it in one hand, you need like uh, let's say for example, short sword, right? So you'll need uh, two to hold it in one hand. But if you use it, if you like two hand the weapon, then your strength modifier counts for double. So you would only need one strength. So to dual wield rapiers, you would need three strength, and but to dual wield like short swords, you would need like two strength. Like a plus strength. three strength, or what? Yeah, like a plus two strength. Yeah. I think it also. Wait, include, somebody, it also somebody... uh, have to oh. include your con, I believe, as well. Wait, not strength. It's versatile slash finesse dex. What? Somebody's talking in chat. I don't know if I'm allowed to read that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they're telling you. Versatile slash finesse. What? They're I don't saying know. I'm not cooking. What is this slander? That means you can use dex or strength with it, but I mean that's base five e. We're doing homebrew. <laughs> so, but yeah, rapier is a finesse weapon, meaning you can use either dex or strength. Yeah, oh. he's, we're talking about heft. Yeah, which is different. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. No, never mind. Never mind. You're right. Uh, short swords, you need strength because they don't have the versatile property, but you can use dex for rapiers. So oh, cool. shit. Okay, I can dual wield. Yeah, Arcadum changed the, so. the meaning for versatile and finesse. Finesse is applies to connect attack statistics, and versatile applies to. I'm grabbing up some fucking rapiers. I'm dual wielding rapiers then. Fuck it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Use dex. Could use the I actually have an important question. So, uh, this uh, tower mission thing, mm -hmm. I was thinking about uh, switching my kit proficiency to medicine, but yeah, I don't know if do we want to spend. I don't know if we want to spend the four days because Arcadum said um, there's like a time I mean, constraint. Arcadum did say that, but I'd, I'd ask if you have somebody help you if it's lessened because we know it. Um. So to. the other thing is too right. The Saga Sheet did just take a healing spell, and we can buy more potions with the stuff that we stole. And we can always go to other uh, parties with Agatha and steal more, because I have sleight of hand. Uh, I have sleight of hand proficiency. I don't. Do I get two expertise or one? I think you only get um, one. You might get another one higher level, but right now we only have one. Okay. Uh, because my 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 build I'm going for is like the assassin rogue so i'm playing stealth sleight of hand stuff like that i am the go fuck yourself magic you people <laughs> rogue right now <laughs> yeah i yeah, want I'm, to uh, break people and fucking murder them <laughs> yeah i'm mainly just trying to do it to get medicine kit as a bonus action right uh, now i, have, I, I now have the, the only, skill focus which is an I action the uh I think the only thing that a medicine kit does is revive people at 1 HP, right? I thought it also healed. No, I you get a roll for each charge. Yeah, I don't remember, because I've, I've watched the games previously. I don't know if it's changed. I think it's changed a bit. He, he released some patch notes in the Discord. Only rogues can get bonus it. action med kit? I don't know if that's true or not. Sometimes Jeff doesn't know what they're talking about. But, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll ask about it when he gets back. Yeah, we should, we should ask also about, about that. Remember, if you, if you don't get the bonus action, um, then it's not worth it. Yeah, you gotta remember, Chad. Yeah, I'm linking stuff in the that we're using healers. And you're looking for healers kit, right? So let's read it. So the healers kit is medicine. You cannot use a healer's kit unless you have proficiency with a hero's kit or medicine kit. You spend one minute of a charge to heal any ally for 1d6 hit points if you have proficiency in healer's kit or medicine skill. Yeah, so that takes a minute. You, uh, The trick is you may use the healer's kit as an action if you possess both medicine skill uh. and its ability. And its ability, you may use the healer's kit as... Oh, wait, hold on. If you possess both the medicine skill focus and and its ability, you may then use it as a bonus action. And uh, it's being, so profici need... being proficient and having the trick is two different things, right? Yes. yes. Being proficient and having yeah. the trick are two different things. So it's, I think it's the minute you would also have, you would have. also have to have the, the skill focus in medicine. 
Yeah. Which I think you just took, right? No. Well, okay. actually, yeah. I did take the skill focus for medicine. Okay. That was right. Just more explaining needed to be done. So maybe Any after... For chat. <laughs> to be right or what? Either way, we need to discuss that tower thing more in character. Yeah, I... I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but yeah. I, I feel we'll get a lot more information yeah, on we, that when Milo and the Dawn finish talking about yeah, all of that I, and what their plans for the tower will be. He'll give us yeah, orders. Yeah, he'll, he's going to give us some fucking orders. I, I I highly doubt that he... Well, Milo is happy right now. I We we, we help bad. I'm happy. My, right. my yeah. failed I'm successfully. Back. Let's do this. Hello, welcome back. Mm. All right, so it's the next morning. You guys report back in. And you see that Milo is waiting for you. Hello, mate. Good morning, everyone. Morning. So, the Don is quite pleased with your performance, and he has a new mission for you. Ooh. He, he wants you to take the Black, <clears throat> the Black Bark Mercenary Company's offer. He wants you to go and conquer the fortress. But instead of putting up their banner, you put up ours. Oh, hell yeah. I fucking love that. Alright. Now, this will obviously be a, um, a somewhat difficult of a maneuver. Are you sure you weren't followed when you left the mercenaries' encampment? We're, we're pretty the sure. We were, we're but they tried, sure. but we lost them. All right. There's still a possibility, but, you know, we <laughs> so can be careful. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to keep you in secret. We're going to get you to the gate. From that point, you're going to make yourself very known in the market, buying supplies for a raid. What we'll be doing whilst you're doing that is we'll be sending out a force ahead of you. This force, its specific duty is to go in and secure the place after you've cleared it out. But more importantly, it's to take care of anyone that's following you. Once we take out the guards following you, then we'll be at a free at all leisure to send in people and man the fortress. Now, we reviewed the dossier that you turned in to us, and we think it's true. There's probably a lot of Shade Road soldiers still left over, or they've probably turned bandit by now. We've also heard, as he holds his finger up, that the Crown Thieves are operating in nearby. It's important that you keep your distance. There's some brutal fuckers they are. The last thing we need is to lose more of our men to some random turf war that isn't ours. So, I don't think that they're currently inside of the tower, but if you see them, avoid them. Keep a long distance, aye? Yeah, alright, mate. So, now, what they look we... like. Well, they wear like a, um, like brown and red, I think. Brown and red, I'll write that down. Morgan nods. Uh, Milo, so about this uh, market idea, uh, we're kind of broke. Don't worry, you'll be getting a stipend of gold from the Don to help supply you for this journey. Oh shit, really? Aye, taking an outpost is not going to be any easy feat. But you've done pretty well so far with your words and wit, but now is the time for weapons and arrows, aye? Oh hell yeah, I fucking love that. Alright. I'm excited. Or could not. <laughs> this should suffice as it gives each of you a hundred gold. Right. So that's Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six. One second. Remember to update your sheets, guys. Uh yes, please. Please do. Oliver I'm just my totaling the I'm just totaling the party gold. Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, so y'all want me to actually add it to my sheet, if yes, you, even if it's going in the party goal. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, because if you don't, you don't have, yeah, you have to. We have a separate note for party gold, but yeah, you add it I, to your sheet. I'm I'm keeping track of party gold for the total amounts of gold that everybody has in the party. So yeah, just keep track of your own gold. But I have the party gold, so update the. So on the Google Doc, you'll see Luton under Luton goodies. There's a a place where you can put your gold. I need that updated so I can keep track of the total amount. I'm being the treasurer, making sure that we have 
sufficient amount of funds for things. Uh, I put it in our notes channel for now, but I can update the sheet later. Yeah, just update the sheet whenever you get the chance. Thank you. Keeps my notes it's organized. Work, and, and since I never put my original 100 I, on my I, inventory, do I, I have I 100 counted, or 200 now? I, I counted the 100 as the stuff that we use to uh, make for like, the, the kit and everything. And yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. Reasons. Then I just have 100. Awesome. Yeah, so you just have the 100. If you do not, uh, if your thing is not updated to the correct amount, please update it and I'll update the party gold accordingly. Thank you. I just need to remember to do it after such. Okay. <laughs> yep. Just did. Thank you. All right. Uh, Dragon will say, Oi, my life. We did do good, right? Are you proud of us? Papa. <laughs> So I'll tell you what, uh, he just he just ignores that. <laughs> All right, go there. We're gonna <clears throat> so come with me. We're gonna take you out the back way. We're gonna make sure that you're nice and covered. Put you in the market. Hey, you know what? Before we go, my I think we should do a group hug. Oh, you know, God. just in case we might not come back. You know. Come on, bring right. it in. The... <sighs> All right, fine. Whatever. Yay! <laughs> uh, all right, so Huggers. we're going to. Where's the market? Nice tight hug. All right, I mean, he's just gonna take you guys out the back way and uh, <laughs> get you guys on a little gondola here, and you get in a small boat that takes you up the river way, and oh, he will wow. disguise you as cargo, and will send you on your way to the market to purchase what items you want. For what is this come. is the second game I've been hitting this cargo in this week. We're at death twice. All right. So, what would you guys like to buy? I want some new rapiers. I'm switching my daggers for rapiers. Okay. Right. Those are about twenty-five gold. Twenty-five. Yeah. For two. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to be proficient to be able to use an armorer's kit? Yes. Okay, then I don't really need anything for now. My armor's too expensive. Would you yeah. Would you like... Oh. <coughs> Say again, Sin. Oh, we need a camping kit. 50 gold. Yep. And I wanted to get some scale mail as well. Scale mail's 200 gold. Uh, is there any, like, better... Also, can I have the rapiers? I'm gonna do that stuff on my own. Or if I can. Um, could I get a potion of purging? purging. Or would that be dangerous Pur to get? Purging potion, 75 gold. Okay. So I wanna get one purging potion, and then I wanna get uh, one greater healing potion, and then one healing potion. A healing potion's 50 gold, a greater healing potion is 300 gold. Okay, so I want two healing po potion of healings and one potion of purging. Okay. So 175 gold, boom, bam, bam. Okay, minus that to my thing. Uh, and a morning there... star as well. Forgot morning star. A morning star is like 10 gold. Yeah, it's fine. okay. Are there uh, plus weapons like plus ones, plus twos, stuff like uh, that? There are masterwork weapons, yeah, that have different how much properties depending would... on what masterwork tiers you get. A bunch of other stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, I kind of want a masterwork short bow. I have that trick. My I my cross my short bow trick is I uh, I don't have disadvantage whenever they're in front of me, right? Um, your short bow trick is weaving shots. You do not have disadvantage when firing this melee uh, with weapon in melee combat, correct? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make Does sure that combo is isolation. Does it? I'm just it's wondering. not. It's not a melee weapon. Yeah. Okay. I, I was assuming not, but you know, good to ask. Mm. Uh, how much would a masterwork short bow cost? Depends on what tier of the masterwork quality you want it to be. And as for that, I will give you this link. Okay. Here you go. Do 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 do. If you look here in the notes tab, click that link. Hey. 
<clears throat> those are the gold costs at the top. Ooh. And then if you go down, if you go up to where it says uh, smithing, open that in a new tab, you'll have a whole lift of, list of different craft mods for weapons, such as anointed, balanced, bladed, bounding, you know, so on and so forth. Ooh. And each of those have a different tier cost, which will increase the total tier of the item, which will increase its total cost to create. That it also includes whatever its base cost is. Just, we're about to end sessions, so just take time crafting the item and then tell me what you want and then, you know, within your price range. How much gold do you have? I have 438 personally. Our party gold is... Okay. Well, with 400 gold, that means you can get a tier 4 uh, masterwork item. Yeah, but I also want arrows. Well, that's fine. Arrows are like a gold for 20. It's not, they're not expensive. And I kind of wanted some sort of poison, so I'm like trying to find oh, something. Oh well, affordable. that's a diff that's a different thing then. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at the tier twos to be honest. You can get a tier two know. weapon. That's fine. I'm just trying to because I'm not used to this. Um, just take your time. I mean, we're at yeah. session time anyway. Just tell me what you want to build next time. It's fine. Just yeah. Send it, just okay. Send it, just send it to me in Discord or in the notes section or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll probably DM it to you. Right. And do I need proficiency for a climber's kit, or can I go ahead and pick one of those you up? You need proficiency for any kit you're trying to use. Okay, never mind. In order to use it, yeah. I haven't, I haven't what about the camping? Question. I think that wasn't true oh, for sorry. camping kit, but let's make sure. What's up? Is that true for camping kit, that we need proficiency to use it? Or no? Yeah, that's true for um, everything. Then, okay, I don't think so, we can use it. Yeah, we can't use it. <laughs> There's no point What's in up, Cavity? So What'd you say, Cavity? Oh, uh, is, there, is there anything for, like, uh, natural weapons in this shop? Um, that's Any something you're gonna. That's that? something you're gonna have to get custom made, and that's gonna take like time to make. They do not so have things. Be able to... They don't have things for skinwalkers for sale. No. Oh, okay. You'll have to get a blacksmith to make that for you. Okay. So, question that... before I buy anything: Do we have to like then hire someone to take us to the tower? I guess. No, you're going there yourself. You know where yeah, it is. Yeah, we're going there right now. They took you to the market in secret so that you wouldn't be revealed that you went there because you were able to lose your followers. Applied by... And so the hope is is that the Black Bart mercenary people will see that you're shopping and then that you exit to go to the tower, which is what you agreed to do. Ah, oh, neat. I guess I'll buy a buckler and a basic potion. Okay, buckler's five gold, potion of healing's fifty. Just don't forget to update your total gold, please. You want to just discuss what we need in chat and let them know next time. Yeah, you just write yeah. It up. Anyway, uh, uh, quick you can just type that shit out. Yeah. Uh, potency would that work for bows? That's. Potency is for poison. Okay. Yeah, that, that's for a weapon with the hollow feature. A hollow oh, weapon okay, means that okay, you can put okay. poison inside of it, and that doesn't really work for bows because they have ammunition. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, okay. there you go. Good sesh, guys. We're going to call it there. Good session. Right. Good right. session. See you. See you guys next week. See you later, buddy. We survived! Hell oh, yeah. Let's see if there's One any fan art. Does not oh, appear yeah. to be. There's this one GIF that we did see last time. <laughs> Orca yeah. versus the shit wave? That's funny. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I've got a I've got another game in an hour and a half chat room. I'm looking forward to seeing you there for the brass tax. Uh, Frozen Crown. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for playing, guys. Did you? Did you? Peace.